I was gonna say, you know, earlier, like, my girlfriend was like, no, can I see your asked. butthole? He's never been like, can I look at your butthole? No, if he wanted to. You've never showed your girlfriend your yo, butthole. Yo, what the, what would you, you know, If he wanted to, me? I literally bend it over. <laughs> 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 if, he, if, he wanted, if he wanted to look at it, he Whoa. could. Oh, really? Yeah. So the police officer came and vouched for him? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> I know. Imagine getting minorly robbed and getting the skip and like, a and they didn't even bring anything to put stuff in. They just had their arms. They just ran out of their arms, full of shit. That's so stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. What what hall was it? Um, I don't know what hall it was actually. I just know that some people just pushed their way in. I didn't get many details. It sounds like a chick thing. What I feel like, like I feel like that would happen in chick. You're going to get Honestly, attacked. Honestly, Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I thought you meant... Did you... Okay, so when I heard... I was actually there when that dude accidentally, like, passed away. You know that he was diabetic and didn't have enough insulin? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Oh, my God. It was so sad. And oh, it, yeah. it hit really close to home because my boyfriend's diabetic. Did you know... Um, my whoa, boyfriend, whoa, whoa, whoa. So a guy died? Yeah, yeah because so he, was he was like, a football player. He was player. like, I can make it to, like, a home for spring break. And then he didn't have any insulin. And insulin's so expensive. Yeah. And he went into diabetic ketoacidosis, and then he died. While driving? No, no while, this he was, was in, in the dorm. dorm. In Chickasaw. Yeah. Hall, hall, or whatever. Yeah. Right, like, two yeah. weeks before uh, winter break. He just passed. And then I saw, like, all the firefighters and stuff, and, like, all the people that were there. I didn't see them, like, pulling him out or anything. Obviously, they want to keep it more private. But, like, I saw, like, all the firefighters and all the people that were there, because this poor guy... I feel so bad for his family because, like, I couldn't imagine. It, hit, it hits really close to home for me. Rest in peace. You know that candlelight service they had at the beginning of the semester? It yeah, was, I think I got it was for him. him. Mm-hmm. But I thought there was another kid who died in a car accident. There could have been, but I just know that no, he, he was on the football team. No, 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 no. The football team was the kid Same who went guy. to. Yeah. I don't know what you're hearing about a car accident. <laughs> Me either. I haven't heard about that. I, maybe, well, I don't know. there was a car accident near the bio- biology building. It looked like someone hit the back of somebody else's car, and there was some dude in the back, like, in the, not the back, the passenger seat, just, like, unconscious. I saw him, and I was like, dang. And then next time, my friend drove by, and he was up and You didn't around. stop and help him? You just no, said, I had a test that day. You didn't even want to stop it. There were police there. You he said, was fine. You said, dang. She's well, well, dang. She's a passed out That's general. crazy. Well, I was raised in a medical family, like firefighters, paramedics. You can move this. Cool. I, just, I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's going to fall. You I'm want so it, nervous. You want the little green guy to be staring at you, and you want to be like four inches. So if, if you like. What's up? If you lean up, you can be like, gah! <laughs> if you want. I'm already super loud, so. That's sure. okay. I'll have to turn her down. And we're, we're loud no. anyway. <laughs> uh, but that's, you know, not to start the episode off like that. It's super kinda, depressing. It's kind of sad. <laughs> like, it is. Wow. So he couldn't afford insulin? He died in mm-hmm. our fucking campus? Like. Yeah, so what happened... That's a problem! It is, is a problem! Is that not a fucking problem? Like, and the thing is, the coaches at this campus, I heard that they're supposed to help with medical stuff like that. They're like, supposed to report it, and the campus is supposed to help them. He didn't report it. He could have gotten insulin through Southeastern. Um, And he, he just said that he'll make it, because diabetics, they think... Sorry to people who are diabetic. They think that they know, like my boyfriend. He's like, oh, I'm fine. I've got it. I've got this. I ran out of insulin. I'm fine. Like, you never know if you're actually fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, because don't they have to? That's where you test for your blood, you prick it and all that. Yeah, and I don't know what kind of thing he has. Like, you can get a scanner and a pump, and you can make it give yourself insulin. And there are also things that can test your blood sugar for you and give yourself insulin. But if you run out of insulin, like your pancreas is, it doesn't have any beta cells. Like, it can't reproduce. Oh my god! Them. It, it also depends on what type you have. Like, if you have type one versus type two, he was type there's one. There's different type two. You can measures get rid of type that two. go into it. Uh, my friend Peyton, he was on. He, uh, I believe, I believe I should know that this is terrible. I should know this. He got, he had it through his whole life and then it flared up later in life. I think he had type 2. Yeah, um, type 2 it typically is like an unhealthy eating habit or rapid, like you're like, you have a lot of weight on you and things like that. You could typically, there are chances you, you can get rid of it, but type 1 you typically have for like all of your life. Wow. Is it's that, something you can't So, get rid of. okay. I'm very ignorant on this. Do y'all know much about it or no? Yes, my boyfriend is. So, like, the Paul Blart movie, he had to eat a Snickers? What was that about? So, you can also be hyperglycemic. If you don't eat for long periods of time, which I am, you could get symptoms of low blood sugar and you can pass out. So, he was probably hyperglycemic, which is super common and you do it to yourself. Uh-huh. 
calling myself out. <laughs> I don't eat for long periods of times, and then I get lightheaded, and then I feel weak. I get really like dizzy. My vision gets blurry, and I almost pass out. And I have to eat something to bring myself back up. <laughs> so. So what's your? What do you usually reach for to eat? Something that has sugar. Okay. Just to get like get it back to the Just system. Just to get it up. Yeah. Wow. Because I'm sure if you are you haven't been eating nothing, you eat a Snickers, I mean, that's all energy. You're not just, eating, you're hungry, you, you know? You just, like, turn all that into... <laughs> <laughs> I fast. That's what, you actually, be so careful with that, because you can get mush inside of you, and it'll be there forever, and it can cause complications. So be careful when you fast. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's maybe go over that a little couple more times. What the hell's mush? So when you eat something in your gallbladder, if you fast and you don't eat anything, that is going to turn into mush. And it's going to sit in the bottom of your gallbladder and it can, it can cause major problems. Well, how do you not do that? Um, I don't know. Do research on that. You're the one fasting. I eat plenty. Well, you're <laughs> Maybe <not>. sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, you, you scared me with the mush, okay? Because I'm like... Yeah, fasting is good. It is good for you to a certain extent. If you're doing it correctly, you shouldn't end up with some mush in your gallbladder. Okay, good, good, good. But if you're not doing it correctly, good luck with you, you and your little friend. Like you're if you're like, eating crap food while fasting. Mush is going to be coming out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it happens uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. So, listen, I was hanging out with some friends last night, and it was like uh, like four guys, two girls, right? <laughs> So, the one girl's like, oh, I gotta go pee. And she's, like, gone for, like, however long. Don't yeah. think anything of it. Well, I'm about to... I'm hemorrhaging piss <laughs> at this point. Like, I'm about to bust. It... <laughs> That's not a terrible... Explode. Ayo. Oh. Ayo? Blast. Oh! Ayo! <laughs> You're about to shit your pants. Is that it? I'm about to piss my pants. Oh, piss your pants. And I go in there... Eight turds just floating in the thing. <laughs> just floating. I'm I like, hate when people don't flush a they're toilet. They're floaters? And, you, and there's floaters. And you know what? There's no toilet paper. <laughs> I thought you just had to go piss, though. It's not that... No, I did. But look at the scene I walked into. <laughs> floaters <laughs> and no toilet paper. What happened? Did Casper take a shit? Listen, and so I walk thing- back in there. Who did it? No, I didn't do that. One thing that I like to say is never ask a woman why she's in the bathroom for so long. But if you walk into that, I feel like it's kind of explanatory. Like, you have yeah. to ask them, what is happening in my bathroom right now? I wasn't going to come out and be like... But I got back in there, I was like... <laughs> and Noah was like, who shit in the bathroom? <laughs> I was like, no, shut up. Shut up. One uh, thing I realized is, like, my so one of my um, sweet mates, like, one of them doesn't flush when they go pee. Or maybe they just forget. Our toilets are really, really loud. When they pee? Yeah. Our, so, our toilets are really, really loud. Like, if you flush it, you could hear it across the hall. Like, I hear other people flush their toilets on my floor. It's so loud. That is true, yeah. So, our toilets are really loud. So, like, I get it if you open the stall and you're plugging your ears. Maybe you forget to flush the toilet. I don't know how you would because they're so loud. Yeah. But sometimes I walk in there and just pee in the toilet. And they also go through so much toilet paper. So much toilet paper. I walk in. I just put a roll yesterday. I'm baby with pee twice. Worked a nine to two, four to eight shift all day. Gone. Toilet paper's gone. Where did it go? <laughs> nine to two, four to eight. You're working doubles. Yeah, I work Hell doubles yeah. on the weekend. I work like a ten to eight shift on Friday, and then I work a two doubles. First of all, wasting toilet money. paper is a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. <sighs> you don't need you don't need that much toilet paper to wipe your pee. Okay. Calm down. I buy the expensive stuff. They've never they've never put toilet paper in the bathroom. Cotton no, now? more like Quilt Norther oh. type stuff. Okay, I... That, that's so rich, I haven't even heard of it. I, I can't that. handle cheap toilet paper that breaks off when I'm trying to, to wipe. Yeah. I don't want toilet paper in my vagina, okay? <laughs> no, I get that. I don't want it in my butt. <laughs> See, you understand. Here, can, I, can I be honest with you? I don't even know if I want to put this on camera, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to. Cause... Okay, Trent, potential edit right now. <laughs> no, but... It, so, I had a girlfriend, right? And right. we were dating for like... <laughs> A long time. And she was like, I've never seen your butthole. And I was like, huh? okay. she was like, can I see your butthole? And I was like, you know what, babe? You can, yeah, I'll show you my butthole. But let me shower first. Like, I was, I had, or I had just gotten out of the shower. Well, I had to take a shit <laughs> after the shower. So I do my thing. I wipe till I bleed. And Literally. then, <laughs> imagine, someone told me that. Oh, God told me that. Uh, he's like, yeah, you wipe till you see red, and then you're done. I'm like, all right, Gary. 
with your scabby asshole. Get out of my face. I sit on the same seat as you, Gary. Anyways. <laughs> we drive the same construction equipment. Sorry. No, I got shit ass on my shit ass. Okay. Continue. Sorry, I'm just getting pissed. Sorry. I can tell. <laughs> Okay. Just snorted. It's all good. I got that in 4K. So you shit after your shower. Uh, so I shit after my shower and I wiped, right? I typically do it the other way around. So do I, but it, I hate, like, I told you. When you get in the shower the, and it just hits you? Yes. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, and I was not eating good. Your stomach is just talking to you? Yes. I was like, Bitch, saying shut some up. things. So I go to the bathroom, wipe, do my thing. And she's like, now let me see your butt. And I was like, okay. And she started laughing. Because we had cheap ass toilet paper, and it had left toilet paper circles of little balls of circle on my butt. So the first time I ever showed a girl from my butt, it was mad. It had I'm fucking sorry. toilet paper rolled. I would never charts. ask my boyfriend. I would never look at him and be like, "Hey, babe, show me your butthole." She was so a attractive. she was a unique one. To, Listen, yeah. I like to say that I'm a bit special because I I I live my life angry. I gotta be having the best day. Drop one of my pencils. Ruined. Done. So angry. I'm such an angry person. I'm also um, a control freak. Me I'll be too. working. I'll be in the front where like all the to-go boxes are, and I have all my cups and ready. And then people will, ooh, they'll come in. Get into it. They'll come in and they'll just put let her know. Hands, they'll put their hands on the cups as if I don't have a cup in the to-go box. And you know how oh, long yeah. it took me to pre-make all those cups, but the lids that don't the the lids. They fly out of the cups when you put them in there. They do. Okay. They go. And then and then the static electricity on that thing, that counter, you could set up a cup that's empty, it'll just fall over like mm-hmm. nothing. Okay. Do you know how hard it is to pre-make those cups and you guys are touching them? I don't know where your hands have been. You could have just picked your nose for all yeah. I know. You could have been scratching your butt and you're touching my cups. Exactly. I had some you come in and touch five of my cups. I had to throw them all away. Thank you, you for that. You people make me so angry. If I would have been handed that cup. When people thing. come in and they'll touch one cup, I'll switch the cups. Don't be touching my cups. Yeah. Okay? I'm kind of a germaphobe. You be touching that? Where have your hands been? Did you just finger your girlfriend and then touch that? Okay, listen. I'm not shaming your sex life, but don't be touching my cups. Exactly. <sighs> can, 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 uh, hopefully the camera saw that. And when the people when the people that are really high come in, listen, we know you've been eating. Mm-hmm. We know you got the munchies. Your hands have probably been in your mouth. You probably had those Cheeto fingers. You're touching my cups. I look at them. Oh, people make me so angry when they do that. You and can I tell ha- when people are high and they come in? Yeah, they, you can smell it. In Chantal, you get in the elevator, it smells like someone just hot boxed that elevator. It's so bad. You can get high just from like contact air. That's honestly true. People get so high in Chantal. Which had never happened before, but so many people smoke here. And it's just everywhere. Chonkta people, um, I can't tell you how many times I see these two same guys high off their minds, staring at our vending machine. <laughs> they're just standing there. They don't even get anything. They're just staring at the crap oh, that's in that's there. Oh, that's kind of sad. They got high. They can't afford it, so they're <laughs> just staring at sometimes it. Sometimes I'm like, I have a whole little pouch full of quarters. If you're that hungry, honey, let me know. Hey, listen. If you're trying to get rid of that bag of quarters, I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. No, I, I, I collect quarters, okay? Just oh. in case. Just in case. I even have a dollar coin. You're not getting mm. that dollar coin. I'll fight somebody for that. I okay? have a couple half dollars in my wallet, and I lost my wallet. Oh. I have multiple $2 bills. You guys are never going to see them because they're hidden away in my dorm. Good luck. Um, Listen, I hide things. I hide things, okay? You're never going to find it. Have you hidden something in here? No. Okay, good. Because I would have never found it. Actually. She's like, look you never under know. your I'm chair. <laughs> what if she was like, I taped something to the bottom of that chair. Imagine I walk this in. chair was in here. <laughs> How'd you get in there? I was sitting on that. How did you hide something under it? Dun, dun, dun. When Movie. I hide something, no one's going to find it. I am like, I grew up in a house with four other siblings. You think I can't hide something? Mm, that's where it comes honey, from, yeah. Honey, I hide, I hide stuff. If I want those dino nuggets, you best believe you're not finding them. Mm. Period. So you're great when it comes to Christmas. Mm-hmm. Because you don't let people know at all. No. I'm, I'm pretty good. But you, So you like surprises. Oh, I hate and love surprises. Tell me, but don't tell me. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll be looking at my boyfriend. He's like, I got your gift. And I'm like, tell me. But I'm going to be angry when you tell me. And I can't hide something from my boyfriend for long. Because this man's eyes. He'll look at me and be like, okay, I'll tell you what I got you. He wouldn't oh, even say anything. Oh, he's your weak spot. He is. How long have y'all been together? A year and a half. Oh. I know. Thanks. <laughs> I, he got me a promise ring. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
Really? I got him one. He, it looks like a an actual wedding ring though. And there was there was one time he was in KTC. He's a CIT guy. He fixed my MacBook for me. That's hot. I know it is hot. I, I was like, to, I, I was like, I'll bend over right now for you. <laughs> but um, he, what was I even saying? <laughs> she said you were bent over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she just. <laughs> Hey. No, what's concerning is the fact that she just slipped right past that. Like, she didn't just say it. Well, I, mean, I say that all the time. It is though. your boyfriend. You'd be like, it hey, is. can you come look through my settings? Uh, <laughs> change my preferences, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, the wallpaper! <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm stupid enough to not know how to change my own wallpaper? I mean... We're not this... We, foreplay. You gotta give it... If, it, if it's your partner, you gotta give him a little something. I had a oh god oh, I didn't even finish my story button. about You're the right. fact yeah, that he yeah. was in, okay so he was in KTC and they were doing a tour okay uh-huh. this man he's tall skinny he's got blonde hair these beautiful blue eyes uh-huh. love him to death okay he was standing there and these girls were like talking about him like one of them obviously thought, obviously thought that he was so cute and they were like whispering and then you just hear one no he's got a ring he's got a wife and he goes I do have a wife actually that really loudly in front of all these little girls who were like so into him yeah and he told me, and I was like, oh my god, you've never been so hot to me. <laughs> you, you're so hot. Dude, yeah. The, yeah. Like, claiming in public, that's got to feel amazing. He, like, he did that, and I was like, he told me about the story, and I was like, babe. Oh, my oh you god. weren't there? No. Oh, I thought like, you watched it no, after. No, even, like, even his friends were like, that would have been a mental I screenshot. I just I'd have been like, about I would remember like that there? core memory forever. Yeah, I wish. Forever. I wish someone would talk to me. Talk about me like that, Connor. He claims me so I hard. I claim you me. all day, every day, baby. You know that. That's all I fucking need, right there. <laughs> um, so okay, tell me the night that. Tell me about the night he gave you the promise ring. So, um, I had actually gotten him one first. Okay. Yeah. She's that, I'm that girl. That kind of girl. So I had actually gotten She's him saying, one you're first. You're mine, blonde hair, blue eyed kid. You're. You're mine. Yes. He's, I will. I've literally told him if I ever see any girl talking to you, they're never gonna find her again. Period. He's mine, ladies. What about other lunch ladies? The lunch ladies are fine. I can okay. actually show you what he looks like. I gotta find a picture of him. He's he's hot. I love him to death. I, lo- I don't even know where all my apps are at. Oh, there it is. I found them. I have to find a picture. He doesn't like me taking pictures of him, but good I have thing so you have many. an iPhone. Oh, I do have an iPhone. We still haven't had someone with an Android on. You have? Really? My boyfriend has... And no one's kissed on the pod either. Still. No, I'm a pass. You were talking about your promise ring with your boyfriend. I figured you'd pass. I love my man. I love him so much. <sighs> you should kiss him on the pod. Where is he? We need a kiss. He's in school right now. So what? Good the funny boy. thing is, we are six months apart in age. We were born in 2005. We're 18. Okay. So I tell him. So he he didn't make the cut into like whatever time we went to school. Uh huh. So. He is actually a senior in high school right now, and we met when I was a senior in high school, and he was a junior because he missed the cut for the year that I went to school. Mm. Little loser. Imagine being born in September. Could you imagine? (laughs) I'm an April baby. That hurts. I was born in September. Oh. Have fun on your next math test. (laughs) I will, actually. I think I've been doing pretty good. (gasps) Listen, I I think I've missed a couple pictures of him. You're of your boyfriend? Yeah, listen, he doesn't like me taking pictures. There was this one time I took so many pictures of him, and he got so upset with me. He does not think he's a pretty person. I, I think differently. He is. Good. Dude, that's crazy. Good. All of my exes, she, they would have, like, entire photo albums dedicated to me. Dude, I love my And boyfriend. I was the exact <laughs> same way. I would always be like, stop taking photos of me. You know I hate that's that. That's my man. Oh. I actually have that jacket in my thing right now. I like his glasses. Yeah, his glasses. He got contacts. Cool. <laughs> Oh my god, I love him. He's so fun. Ooh, hot. peace on th- or what is icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. Dude, I never thought I could find him on more. Earth? I was gonna say, I was like, <laughs> oh, peace, peace on the, earth, peace of the pie, or like uh, peace on cherry on top, peace on top was the cl- contact because contacts make a big deal. Like if I was to put on glasses, I look like a like, and I think they cover up my eyes. I'm actually supposed to wear glasses, but my vision is almost so close to perfect. So, like we just want to correct it. All right. All right, you know how lucky you are, bro. 
You know how lucky you are. I've had these contacts in. They're dailies. They've been in for three and a half okay, weeks. Okay, how does how is your immune system then? Let's talk about that. Amazing, probably. That's nice. It must be so nice to oh, not live your life every man. day getting hives. Do you know up. how itchy that you, is? You, you know how uncomfortable you set me up. You set me up. I so did good. set you up. I, I literally take- fell hook, line, sinker. <laughs> so the thing is, I have to take medication every day to block my cell receptors, which is what causes. Um, your cell hives? receptors? Yes. Okay. They're the communicators of your body. <clears throat> so what happened was, when I was 12, I almost died. So your body, when you have an allergic reaction, is supposed to, you have cell markers. Uh-huh. They basically make a little line and like, I'm going to remember whatever this was, say you interacted with Dr. Pepper. Your body's like, I don't like this, I'm going to remember you next time. And the next time you encounter it, it attacks your body, thinking it's saving you. My body doesn't do that. My body doesn't say, I'm going to remember you, I'm going to attack you right now. Mm. Right now. So I have to take medication to make my body calm down or I'll get hives every day. So your body's just kind of being fake a little bit. But I never get sick. It's day I never one. I never get sick though. You know what I mean? I'm never sick. So that's that's, that's the that's the trade off. I get hives, but I'm never sick. My family every year gets flu B and I always take care of them because I don't get sick. My body's like, I even got the flu shot. And my body was like, Oh, we already know you. Yes. Yeah. Sick? Who's she? Yeah, who is that? Who is that? I had A and B at once. One time. I got COVID. It only affected me for a day. It just made me sleepy for the rest of the time. You know, COVID really wasn't that bad for no, me. No, it wasn't that bad. I hear all these people like, my grandpa's dying. My sister's dying. And I'm like, I, I just slept the whole week. I just slept. Poor granny. No, but like. <laughs> I, my doctor did die, though. I loved him. Rest See, that's an that's a, that's a ironic one. peace. Yeah. The doctor died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, like, people did die, but me, I just didn't... I didn't... My my ex-girlfriend I was with, it destroyed her, like, for a week. And, like, imagine, it makes people to where you might not even be able to taste food ever again that or taste anything. Me. Honey, I could taste everything. I could smell everything. I was living life good. It just felt like I had, like, some small little common illness. Mm-hmm. No. I lost my taste. I had the, the vid. The vid. The vid. The 19. Yeah. Corvid. Uh, <laughs> well, it was weird because, like, <clears throat> your tongue still worked. Like, you could still taste the grease off a french fry or the burn of a shot or, like, the leafiness of... Yeah, I wouldn't know about that shot part. It. I'm 18. I'm a good child. Oh. I've never been drunk. you never been... You never drank? So, I've drank before. My mom was the kind of mom be like, there's alcohol in the fridge if you want it. I really don't care. Uh-huh. Oh, Dakota? Yeah. Okay. You and, said you yeah, here you go. And so, like, my mom was like, there's alcohol in the fridge if you want it, right? And so, if I wanted alcohol, I had access to it. If I wanted to get high, my mom would let me. Um, I haven't been high that much. My friend, Kelly, I love you. Um, my friend. Shout out Kelly. Uh, where is your key? Right here. My friend Kelly gave me edibles, and I don't think I've ever slept so good in my life. Yeah. They were, I, I was dyeing my hair at the time I took my edible. I thought I was in the shower for like 15, 20 minutes. I was in the shower for an hour yeah. falling asleep. I was asleep in the shower, y'all. It was amazing, wasn't it? It was. If the water falling on you. The know. warm water, I just felt so safe and secure. People are so scared of weed, man. This weed was so demonized in the Well, I've, I done edible once 50s. before. Like, no one ever believed me in school when I was like, I don't vape, I don't get drunk and at that point i hadn't gotten high and somebody was like no you're lying you're not that good of a kid i was a kid i started working as soon as i turned 16 i paid rent for my mom i was a really hard-working child and um got straight a's in school you know you know things like that so i didn't have time to drink just drink like all of you privileged children yeah yeah (laughs) so i just I just worked really hard, Mm -hmm. you know, and when I wasn't working or doing something, I was alone in my room in the dark, sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. So, I really didn't have a life as a child. Well, you know, some people look back on that and they'll be like, oh, I'm kind of sad, but you kind of, you got a head on life. I did. I did get a head on life. More people in Ray Ray. What's up? No, no, the no, laundry. No. You were the girl who went to the Calera school. You you complimented my green dress. I did. You, you did. So Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, um, 
So, okay, we didn't even bring up the laundry. Should we bring no. up the laundry? No, okay, so what happened? Nobody stole my laundry, guys. Okay, okay, this is it right here. This is no it. one stole my laundry. So what happened was Noah, his cousin, you've seen him on here before, he comes in. He had two washers. There were three available dryers. Okay, he comes in. My laundry was not even done. I just got the notification it was nearly done. Bro takes it out and just throws it on the table. Mind you, I had, a, like, basically all the underwear I owned were in there. <laughs> And I was on my period at the time. And one of my underwear was stained. Bro was grabbing my underwear, okay? Your bloody undies? Um, they were stained. Only one pair was stained. And I was so mad about Wait, that. Wait, were they washed? They were washed. Oh, okay. But he just grabbed them out of the dryer. Yeah, but they still and I was walking. Yeah. yeah, I was walking in there as he was walking out. He had, like, just thrown them on the dryer. I mean, on the table. Man, tell me why I got so uncomfortable that some random man touching my underwear. And everybody got so mad about it. Do you want random? Do you want a random man touching your underwear? Just, <laughs> do, do mean, you? Listen, I got here. I mean, I, I think it'd be, be kind of hot, respect. personally. Talk your respect. I was going to be so nice about it on the story. Just like, hey guys, respect people's boundaries. Don't touch the laundry. But my friend looks at me. and She goes, "Be mean about it." And I was like, "Be mean." She goes, "Be mean, Katie." I was like, "Aubrey, I can't." And she goes, "Be mean." So I said, "Don't touch my fucking yeah, laundry. Yeah. Don't touch people's laundry." And then people got so heated about like, "Chill." Do you have, have the post you. that you posted? Did you save it? I didn't. Don't think I saved the video, but I like I screen recorded some of the things that people said. Okay, do that because I'll put it up. Make, yeah, send it. To yeah, I'll send them send to you. It, to him and then it was, it. dude, and I was like, I was explaining. I was like, listen, I have to base my life off of what I'm allergic to. I can't have like random people touching my stuff because, did you just eat shellfish and touch my stuff? That could literally kill me. That'd be wild. Yeah, like, I'm allergic to cats, dogs, all the small rodents you can think of, gerbils, hamsters, all of them. I'm allergic to cockroaches. Horses? Cockroaches? Yes, cockroaches! <laughs> I don't, yeah, I actually think I'm a little bit allergic to horses. God. I was, yeah, I'm allergic to so much stuff that you could literally pet your dog, touch my underwear, and then my, my vagina's gonna be uncomfortable <laughs> for a week. I'm also allergic to bed bugs, dude. Listen, listen. I was so mad when he touched it because, like... <laughs> Listen, you could have given me a rash on my, like, not a rash, hives on my vagina. Do you want your vagina or penis to be itchy for a week? I don't, no. Exactly. I don't. So, that's why I was so heated. And people were like, dude, if you have an immune problem, don't. I think he just ate shrimp that day, too. Yeah, I was like, and I have to go wash all of my, my all of my stuff again. You rewashed it? I have to rewash it. He said whenever he, he washed And all it he out. posted on the story was, my bad. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could get He just posted, him. my bad. With one little arrow. I, I tried calling him. He didn't answer yeah, for me. Yeah, he's probably asleep. He said he heard you scream when he was in his <laughs> I did. I was like, who touched my laundry? I was so mad. <laughs> and I have anger issues, honey. Listen, oh. I have anger issues. <laughs> and, no, and knowing Noah, he just... Do, 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 do. I walked right left. past him. He was getting in his truck. I walk in. My clothes were so hot still. I touched the jeans, my jean button, and it burned the piss out of my hand. He was in a rush. You had two washers, buddy. Yeah. Two washers. You didn't need four dryers. <sighs> See, like... <coughs> <coughs> he irritated me so I bad. I used a public laundromat, and, I, you know, like, you... It's like, all right, this one's taken. I'm going to leave my detergent on top of it. Like, I'm just going to mm-hmm. do all this. Well, in a college one, it's probably a fucking madhouse. Like, and, like, people were people who didn't even know what happened were, like, posting, oh, the laundry van is trucking in, thinking, yeah. like, someone stole my laundry. I probably would have, I probably would have tracked that person down. Oh, Listen, yeah. I'm crazy. Don't touch my stuff or don't take my stuff. I will find you. What did you, what'd you just say? You Oh, you said if your boyfriend was pictured with anyone else? I, he would go missing, if yeah. If a girl talked to her boyfriend, <laughs> yeah, they she, would come up missing. No one would find her. I li- I'm, a tri- I'm a true crime buff. I know how to hide a body. Would you fucking put her in the calf food? Or <laughs> Listen. Huh? In calf. the calf food. Food. Oh, cat food. food. Oh, I, I do. I do work at the cafe. Like, yeah, no, the thing sausage. is about the cafe <laughs> is I don't. I don't make the food. The chef or the cook makes the food. So mm. I don't handle the food. I just give it out, or I make you guys the sandwiches. You're welcome. I know that they're good. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't like the sandwich that you get, it's literally your fault. It is because you. They tell you what you to make. You tell me when I like to make. Also, it. tell them about my sandwich. He likes. Don't, don't, he doesn't want a wrap. He doesn't want any kind of bread. He wants turkey, ham, tomatoes, and mustard. <laughs> I love it. So on, much. just on a plate by itself. <laughs> like a madman. Like, like, like a madman. Like a meat roll up. You just roll it That's up. Okay, okay. You so, yeah. so you don't like. He doesn't like bread. Why? Or a tortilla. Carbs. Oh. Flour. Fucking hell. We have, I'm is, wheat bread thinking, okay, is wheat bread okay with you? 
Because um, we have wheat bread. Some wheat bread flour has been bleached in the process. and so that's Bleached? Like, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. This is why I never eat wheat bread. All your white bread is bleached. Yeah. I don't eat bread, period, honestly. Well, mostly all your bread, unless it's like sourdough or fresh, was sprayed with bleach. So don't Did eat Did you it. know the bratwurst you guys ate, the meat inside of it is held together by pig intestine? Yeah. And you guys ate that yesterday. Some of you guys got like five of them. Honey, it's not that good. Dude, I love uh, pig. I don't eat hot dogs or anything because I heard what's in hot them. Hot dogs are wild. Oof. I don't eat hot dogs or any form. I was really told some dude walked up to me and goes, these are basically just hot dogs on steroids. Why are we on our phones? What is this? What is this? You're going to come to my establishment? No, I'm playing. Listen, I don't even think the camera can see me right now. It can. It can. It's no. wide lens. Yeah, it can. <laughs> hot. <laughs> hot. I'm going to you like making faces and shit. Hold on. Scoot, just scoot up a little bit. Dude, I don't know. This guy has a girlfriend. I don't. Oh, okay. She's not gonna oh! Yeah, it's me, honey. You know, <laughs> you know, Trent, no one's... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, oh my God, no. I'm going to bring you back up. And I'm oh. going to say it. Nobody's kissed on the podcast. No, because I said um, that these two should kiss. Like, Dakota and Connor. I asked if they would whenever Connor opened the door for him. So, like, let's make it happen. And, and what did I say after? That it would. I said, fuck <laughs> no. That's not How about you and, you and Trent? But I love you, Connor. Man, we kissed so much in the dorm already that it wouldn't be the same. Well, we saved that for right before bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your bedtime routine. Always. It's like a little little routine that you guys have going on. That's yeah. crazy. Like, on I mean, you just have to get right here. Oh. Just in the mic. I love you, Connor. You're a good friend. Oh, oh man. No. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I love you, Dakota. You're as cold as ice. Okay, so... Laundry Bandit is Noah McMillan. Everybody knows. Yes. <laughs> well, no, not everybody knows because nobody, they only know what I look like. I had a girl, I felt, I felt like, a, like I just got off work. I worked a double. I was super tired. Some girl looks at me, oh my God, are you Laundry Bag Girl? And I just, I just got off work. I was so tired. I was like, I looked at her and I was like, yeah, yeah I yeah. am. And she like, she was treating me like I was a celebrity. Honey, I am like your every ordi- ordinary day girl. She just got her panties touched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. By my cousin. <laughs> and when, that's the intro. <laughs> like, what's so funny is when I was talking to Trent and I told him I was laundry mat girl, he just does the biggest audible gas. He's like, <gasps> my cousin is the one who touched your laundry. And I was like, no way. There's no way. Well, I was like, it all had, they had just told me about it. And I was like, no way. And then I go in and I'm talking to you and I'm like, oh, hello. And you're like, um, do you like Dr. Pepper? I'm like, how do you know that? And you're like, I watched your podcast. I was like, oh, yeah, that thing I post yeah, I told on him the should, internet. I forgot yeah, I do that. He, I told him he should talk about it on his podcast. He goes, well, you should come in and talk about it. I was like, I'll do you one better. I'm Laundry Mac Girl. And he goes, oh, I'll shit. do you one better. My cousins want to touch your laundry. And I was like, oh, the rage I felt, the rage I felt in that moment, knowing I'd probably have to sit next to this man on this podcast. Yeah. Mm. He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he was supposed to be. We were supposed to talk about oh, it. Man. And I was yeah. mentally preparing myself for that, too. And man didn't even show up. He didn't even... I had scared. to make myself not so angry about the situation so he wouldn't end up in a body bag. Yeah. That made me so angry for... Would and you I have, drown him in Dr. Pepper? Probably. The thing, no, I wouldn't waste Dr. Pepper like that. Exactly. Don't waste Dr. Pepper. Speaking of, you need to bring those out. That's what I'm I was about to I've got cotton mouth right That now. was a great segue. The thing is, I only have four. Keep it going. I only have four Dr. Peppers, so what are we going to do? There's I'll be, five I'm, of us. I'm willing to split mine with somebody or just give it away. Somebody's going to make a sacrifice. I'm not making I a sacrifice. I just said I will make These a sacrifice. These were my last four Dr. Peppers. You guys better be so lucky. Trent, do you know I have a DPZ? <laughs> oh. Oh. No, I'm, I brought them for the podcast. Um, I'm a Dr. Hi, guys. Pepper fanatic. So, uh, my name is Connor Hostetler. Uh, you guys should go stream my music right now, on SoundCloud. I have well, some new music coming out soon. Me too. Uh, I don't want shellfish coochie, man. Soon, so. Whoa! No. Me too. I'll take that one. Listen, I already, I already, like, you better hand me one of those right now. <laughs> Do not take yes, that one. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my butt. You want this? We can share it. We can if you can share a drink, y'all can kiss. That's all. She I'm already saying. said we could share. This unfortunately is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I gave her the <laughs> shake it up one. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Connor. Wow, what an asshole. You lost her kiss. 
shit. Shit. Connor, you are lacking. Look at her. Look at her. She Mind is y'all. gorgeous. She is stunning. She is there. Mind y'all, I met her like five minutes and ago. And look, she's wearing heels. Not every woman can wear heels like that. True. Mm-hmm. Listen, I wear these. Did Have you guys ever seen me walk around campus with these six-inch platform boots? Is six, inch, <laughs> is six inches like, is that is that a lot? Girl, they're this they're, they're this tall. That is a so lot. So let me. Yes. Is that big? Is that big? Shut up. Is it big though? Just just say you're not packing. Just, just say, say the, that. Just say it. Just is say it, that. I'm just asking. I'm just is it six inches? They make me six foot two, and I don't think I've ever seen, seen men look so terrified. It's like I'm breaking be their you ego being one. a tall woman. Well, I'm five foot uh, ten without. You're talking them. to the wrong dudes. Like I'll I'll be in Walmart. I like her climbing that tree. I like a six foot tall. Baddie woman that can help me move a couch. I help my parents. We talked about this. Can help me change my tire. She'll move, she'll move the furniture, and the first time she might like it, and then she'll move it around like ten million more times, and then she'll go back to the very first one that we did. Thanks, mom. That's where you get your OCD from, because that's where I get mine from. I'm my OCD. Mother. I'm a control freak. I'm a hard. I I live in organized chaos. My room is a mess, but my friends would be like, "Hey, where are your nail clippers?" Right and I'll there. dig under ten ten things and be like, "Oh, they're right here. I they're right in front of your face." I relate to that so much. I'm just hard. an organized freak. Okay. Oh my gosh, someone who understands me. I do, like, and not everybody understands. My no. friend would look at me and be like, "I don't know how you live in such a messy room." I'm like, "Well, I it's, it's my mess. I know where everything's at, honey." All these toys. Honey. 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 Listen, these Dr. Peppers I have on my desk, I have like 10 cans, empty cans. And she'd be like, how do you know which one you're drinking? I'm like, well, this one was from yesterday at 9 in the morning. Uh huh. Okay, and this one was from th- last weekend, okay, at 3 in the morning when and I was that feeding. One and that one when I was feeding. Is right now. Cheers. Cheers, yeah, everybody. It's, so, it's sadly not Ray, sponsored Ray. by Dr. Pepper. Take a shot. I don't not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but. Yeah. Yet, but Five Star Nutrition, shout out, down in Sherman. Did they sponsor you? They're going to sponsor the podcast. <gasps> Can you oh, that? congratulations! Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ah, it's That's crazy. so exciting. You're becoming something. I know. I know. Damn. It's it, No. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. No, no I am. No, I am. I am. <laughs> what? Wow, Did you're you say, becoming something. You're, you're, she said oh, that's you? a backhanded I mean, comment. Look at me oh. and go, you're oddly pretty for a tall woman. Tell me that again. You're going to figure out just how strong my legs are when I kick you in the throat. Don't tell me that. Damn! You're oddly pretty for a tall woman? Yes. That's a backhanded compliment. That is a backhanded compliment. Oh, tell gosh. I haven't had a real pretty. Dr. Pepper in so long. I'm kind of nervous. You'll be fine. It's on camera. It tastes the same. Just drink it. Pinky out. Pinky out. I'm already. Oh, he's... Does that burn? How's that burn? Does it feel nice? Yeah, I thought he was going to savor the flavor. He downed that like vodka. Oh, my. God, dude. You're welcome for that. Dr. Pepper's the best. Coke, yes, thank wax, you, Coke. Pepsi, Katie. watered down Coke. Sprite, get the fuck out of my yeah. face. Yeah, and th- for those people who drink McDonald's Sprite, you're on a different level. What do you need your battery set like that for? <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, what are you what doing? Are you recharging, like? That is straight battery acid. What do you mean? Or, yeah, battery acid. That's where I was going with That's that. That's crazy. Because, mm-hmm. like, the second you take a drink of that, it burns so bad. My sister's one of those people. Can I have a, can I have a Sprite for McDonald's, Mom? You mean electricity? Yeah, you were barely a hundred pounds at thirteen, honey. Ray, Tell Ray. me you need Sprite. Hang up and hang out, Ray. Ray. Well, I'm, I'm stealing that. Hang up and hang, hang, out? And hang out. Y'all hang can set it right there in the middle of the. Room. I mean, I have been, but she's been. You need a sign that says. Hang Listen, up and hang I don't know how close I got to be to this mic to I talk. Do. To be heard. That is perfect. That's, that's a that clock perfect. that's an hour ahead. That's not a neon sign. I was going to say I could put it like over here. Okay, but like <laughs> that <laughs> in like two, three weeks, that will be on time. Oh? That clock. Oh, yeah, because we're switching back. Yeah. Daylight Spring savings forward. is so weird. It's stu- it, Last year was supposed to be the last year. Sure. We voted. Texas voted that we weren't going to do Did it. Did you guys know that Texas <laughs> is trying to become its own state? <laughs> Secede, yeah. And then um, Oklahoma mean, is trying to join them? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Well, that's Oklahoma's only fucking chance. Oklahoma's like me and Texas are besties. Bring yeah. me in. Let but me in. No, they voted. It got through like it's supposed to go to the Congress now, but it got through the Senate or maybe switched. Daylight savings one. trips me out. Yeah, that it was about gonna be done forever. We weren't gonna have five o'clock night times anymore. Five o'clock. It's dark outside already. Hey man, I got aquaphor on my. I what's your with him. what's your ethnicity? Did y'all just kiss? No. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> D- 
No. I just thought that's how y'all like share off of it. I don't know. I'm adopted. Ooh. <laughs> that means I you were wanted. Oh. Yeah, nice. I mean, you, you're a positive first, person. Like, five families. Thank you. Yeah. The, the sixth one picked me up. Six times me. a charm, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that third time's a charm. Mm. Fuck that family. Um. So. Uh, you look Italian-ish. That's why I said that. Everyone says that. Yeah. I don't see it. I think it's the dark hair. Well, it, I, okay, actually, I'm naturally a blonde. Me too. But, oh, me no. too. I dye it, so. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, Choctaw. So I just got that uh, dark. I'm ugly ass kid. Now you, she can, you can get on your phone. phone. Yeah, you told me to put up my phone. Oh. Yeah, I'm Choctaw, so I've got the darkest, thickest hair. What? My hair is so thick. What, what color is next for you? Um, I don't know. I think so. This is my first time dyeing my hair, right? And I think it's a bit overhyped. People, people make it's it. Like, you look like you're trying to. You're bro, a, go you back like, to that. You look go like a biker wannabe. That. A biker wannabe. Yes. I was trying. To <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. I was, show the camera. I was trying to not have that reaction. I was sitting here like, <laughs> oh, you guys see no. Yeah. I had to yeah, have hey, braces. You have for to air drop that to me. I, okay. This was me as so a child. So let me put it up. Oh, you were cute. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh. Uh-huh. That was me. Everybody had those pictures. I yeah. I have the biggest. When I was small, my face. Uh, when Hold I was up, little, I was this. so small. My dimples looked massive, and I had the biggest eyes ever. People would look like I wasn't. So my dad, he's a blonde. Oh, I think I just airdropped. I was in MacBook. Walmart one time with my uncle Dude. and my dad. Hey. Dude, these people were like. Your daughter's so cute to my uncle. My dad was so mad. Oh, my dad's a deadbeat though. dad, by the way. You got, like, oh my god! Rolls on your face, though. <laughs> <laughs> I ate. Oh, was that you? Yeah, I ate too many carrots. My nose turned orange. <laughs> what? That's your so cute. Are- the ball of rice flexing. Thank you. It's I'll okay. I looked like a muppet Aww. as a baby. You were a um, child. I was a C-section baby because I was so fat. Oh. Yeah. I think I was all natural. Mine was my mom's biggest I'm baby. Air drop you. I was a blue baby. Oh. My mom's smallest babies. You were a what? Blue baby. Which means I had my vocal cord. My oh, sister shit. did too. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's no way. Breaking my own pod. You literally just fixed mine too. That's the thing. Is that is that like a book thing? You took a picture of the book? Uh, dude, I don't know. My family found it. Like my adopted parents found it. I love the fit. So like, I don't know. I was just. That Muppet no. the baby. <laughs> that Muppet is crazy. No, my that, that's adorable. Tell me how the probability is my mom had two kids that weighed the exact same down to the ounce. Oh, I think wow. it was like 4 pounds, 11 ounces. Both that's of a them. specific diet. Yeah, my mom, she didn't, no, she, so my mom used to love asparagus. Oh. Uh, she was pregnant with me, and I made her puke so hard she can't eat it without tasting the puke that she had almost 19 years ago. Oh my gosh. Mm. Or over 19 years ago because she was pregnant with me. I love asparagus. She Sauteed. Get, could, could you imagine? Could you imagine being. Okay, you're not going to be pregnant right, because you're a man. You put me. No. Imagine you never know. Pregnant. In this day's and age, I can switch things up. Okay, imagine, you, imagine <laughs> you're pregnant then. Okay, I'm pregnant. You're eating what you love the most, and you're puking for over 30 minutes. <laughs> How's it go? And then it just ruins it for the rest of life. You can't eat it anymore. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pepper, no! Not Dr. Pepper. I'd probably still drink it. No, I would you still wouldn't. Because that's how much I love it. But my mom can't handle it anymore. The asparagus. Okay, yeah. That's unfortunate. Like she'll, I, she can't even smell it anymore because it just bothers her so much. Because I ruined her. That's a mid-tier vegetable. She'll be okay. No, no. What? No. <laughs> Asparagus with like a nice fat Ooh. juicy steak. No mushrooms, Dude. mushrooms with a steak. Ooh, Dude, with mushrooms. Gravy? mushrooms. Yes, oh, yeah. gravy. Mushrooms yeah. taste and like dirt. Mushrooms date? taste like dirt. dirt. You said dirt. Yes. I don't know. Why I said date. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> have I, you ever had dates? Don't they have like? Don't they have like wasps in them, or is that figs? Like I know that. I, I, yeah, I think figs. figs they have like up to like no three to yeah, five wasp, like dead wasp inside of them. So the only way that figs, so, like seg- weird segue, but the only way that figs can be like fully mature enough for people to eat is if a wasp dies inside of it. That's wild. What? Y'all didn't know that. Look it up. Look it up. No, no, that's because that's wild. Look it up. Yeah. 
No, I was the kind of kid who would find pecans on the ground and crack them open and eat them. I was raised. Okay, no, there's no, no, no. I was raised in no. Soper, Soper, Oklahoma, yeah. 15, 15 miles away from the nearest highway. Y'all, I was out there. I mm. lived life outside. That's why it was so dark in Listen, that picture. Listen, I live in the boonies too. We don't have like pecan trees, but like out where my grandparents live, mm-hmm. uh, out in Broken Bow. I, grandpa, I grew up in Soper. Yeah, yeah. we were like has, right like, there over like uh, 300, 400 acres of land because he was cattle farmer. It was also and that's called all Jasper. Me and my grandma would do. So for the people pecans. that don't know where Soper is, it's between Hugo and Boswell, and near Antlers and Broken Bow. Because every time I'm like, do you guys know where Soper is? No. Wrong. No, wait. Wrong. No, are you for real? Wrong. No way. Yeah, they uh-uh. don't. No. <laughs> That's they, they don't. They, they do go in. They do crawl in there, but they don't die in there to become ripe. They go in there to pollen. That's how they have sex. Uh, uh, uh. That's no. how they have sex? No. Yeah. Wasps yeah, pollinate the majority of commercially and fruit. Yes, listen. they pollinate it. So pollination no. is what makes it mature. No, listen, listen. So wasp pollinate the majority of commercially grown figs. Yes, edible figs do include at least one dead female wasp. Wow, Trey, you're being, you're being so, showed So up. here, here. Before you go thinking that those crunchy seeds and figs are in fact bits of dead wasp, let's set you straight. There are no dead wasp and figs, just seeds. Okay, okay, but I, no, I, no, no, I no. see what she's saying. Yeah, I but s- it says it's not quite the urban legend that fruits contain yeah. insect meat. When a female wasp dies within an edible that. fig, an enzyme known as fic- ficinin... And the fig breaks Fison. down her Fison. carcass. Oh, Fison. Yeah. Okay, whatever. And the fig breaks down her carcass into protein. Okay. Yeah. So, technically, okay. I'm not wrong. So, what <laughs> I, I see what she's talking about, right. though. Wasps will go in, and that's what I was about to I'm get not at. not compromising. Wasps will go in and <laughs> pollinate like, it, but oh, they yeah. won't necessarily leave, yeah, they leave won't there. Leave. And some, fe- some of them will get stuck and absorbed. Yeah, but wasps, yeah. Getting, yeah, 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 but, yeah. But that's how they ripen is with the protein that the dead wasp is producing from the whatever pick pick noon pick bison bison yeah. That's insane. That's, so that's insane. Just, just for a, just for yeah, a fig. We went from Dr Pepper to fig. Just for a fig though, like we went laundry from, bandit that's to <laughs> coochie with hives. Yeah, and then yeah. Dr Pepper. <laughs> And and the wasp fig Loki, topic. I kind of forgot about the coochie hive. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you know, I got bit by a bed, bed bug on the hand because one of my houses, one of the two houses I had burned down. Uh-huh. Um, so it bit me on the hand and it got trapped under there. That one bite on the hand gave me a systemic rash, which means a rash all over every single part, 100% of my body for a week. Are we just going to glaze past the fact she just said one of her houses burned down? <laughs> Listen, it was an almost 2,000 or 3,000 square foot house with an in-ground pool and a hot tub. Sorry, Rhett. I can't answer it. <sighs> um, first of all, how much cream did that take to, like, soothe your whole body? I didn't. Oh. I just lived with it. Oh. Yeah. She's a gangster. When, listen, She's when like you that. live from the age of, like, 11 to 13 with just an immune system that just attacks your body... Then you kind of just get used to the fact that almost every day you're going to have hives. And there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to base your life off of what you're allergic to, which is what I have to do. It's like, My friend, he's allergic to peanuts. He can't have Chick-fil-A. And, <laughs> I was, I was going to say it's random, but it's really not. Does that suck? I like Cane's better. Oh, Kansas is good. Zaxby's? Okay, but this is slept on. Chicken Express with Brahm sauce is so good. Chicken Express with Brahm sauce. Interesting combo. It is. So how I figured that was my sister wanted Brahm sauce. I wanted Chicken Express one morning when I went to the doctor's. And you can yeah, move it. Move just move it. Right. No, I have, Dude, I don't I have, have really bad hip problems. My hip is just That's hurting. That's fine. That's okay. it. That's literally <laughs> it. Just anyway, <laughs> plays over that. Anyway, so she got Brahms with like three big things of Brahms sauce. And I got Chicken Express. It was so good. It, you guys need to try it. I love chicken eat. Chicken is so good. What about Chick-fil-A sauce and McDonald's fries? What's happening over there? <laughs> Dude, it's it's wild. This is not YouTube friendly. Is what's We're happening not going to show it on here. camera, but... Oh, okay. is this what, what you said you were going to show me earlier? Oh, my what God. It? What is it? Uh, maggots. She a hospital bed found patient, a person who had an amputee with maggots. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I don't want to so, see a picture of that. So, he 
she does a one. Well, no, I, I watch a lot of murder mystery, so I've seen a lot of dead bodies. Like, you know, I don't want to break Do any hit the laws here. Yeah, you know, it obviously. Matter. I know what it is. Um, but for patient privacy, um, came in without, like, like no one knew because this person had not taken off their bandages, you know? Like, nobody in the mm. ER, nobody in admitting, like, decided, like, hey, let's check this individual you know freshly new amputation and uh i was working night shift i worked night shift at the hospital and basically what had happened is i was wanting to check this individual's like wound to make sure that it was okay healing properly you know make sure they're comfortable well i had taken off the bandaging and it was dark in the room and i'm like oh my god like what is that like is it like twitching moving like what's going on so i flipped the light on and then i realized like oh like like those are bugs those are larvae that's actually such a good thing to do though yeah. maggots are actually really good to clean out yeah. wounds and so, it yeah. causes um you not to have an infection it's like yeah. it gives you more of a chance to not have it's an called infection. maggot therapy and basically oh. what it does is the maggots will eat the necrotic tissue so we left the uh, smaller larva uh -huh. in there but we like irrigated and took out like the larger larva um and then like a few days later the they came back <laughs> God, and then they I'm came just, back I'm and crying. they like you know fixed this individual up and everything and they were all fine and dandy but like i mean it was really good healthy tissue mm -hmm. so like nobody knew it was there so for documentation like of course i have to like take um like evidence of it yeah. you know and whatnot so we documented it you know, obviously got the treatment he needed, and now yeah. he's yeah. like slaying, you know, That's slaying good. the streets. Did you wow. know that so. doctors' handwriting kills seven thousand people a year? Like the bad that. handwriting of doctors. Oh, because like if you write a medication, like say you gave a, um, someone a medication that can't go, that can't be paired with another medication, mm -hmm. and a nurse can't read the doctor's handwriting, and they give it to him anyway. That's how a lot of people die. Seven thousand people last time I checked. A year because of doctor's bad handwriting. Honey, go back to school. Write better. <laughs> well, they, well, they kind of learn it, though, too. You can pick it like, up, Like, in their too. residency, they learn it because it's Do shorthand. They? Yeah. Yeah, it, Which it kills stupid, so many people but they a learn year. It, yeah. okay. Like, just write out morphine. So you're telling me that the doctor will just go, like, that? Yeah. And they'll know exactly what it is? I yeah. yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. Some people, if they work uh, with each yes. other long enough, <laughs> like, I worked at a vet place. Right. I don't know. <laughs> and um, peroxide will get that off. I worked at do a you have peroxide. <laughs> peroxide is really good for getting Sharpie off. No, I usually do. Or it's you like how we table. have different symbols for uh -huh. like width, so it's like a C with a line over it. That's what. Okay. You know? yeah. 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 Or you need to wipe this. Or PRN off, right? is as needed. Stuff like that. This so. side's clean. I couldn't get over there. Oh, right there. So then, what's this? I don't know. What is exactly my point? What is it's shorthand. This? So like, there's different symbols for like different. Uh, what number is this? Yeah. Twenty one. I did my signature. Don't you stare my. Don't you dare stare my. Steal my. What? The, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I have a speech impediment. Why were you getting mad at me though? I wasn't gonna tell you. I was getting mad. thinking about it. I have a short temper. She's already said she's an angry person. I am. I. Oh, yeah. I have really bad anger issues. Like there, it's over the smallest things too. It's not even like. Like that, it really made me angry. I was like, can't speak, pissed. Is it is it just like you getting like frustrated, or is it like you I say have a things video you on my regret? Phone that like really shows. Okay. You have shows. a boyfriend, right? Yes. Oh. He Wait, what's your boyfriend's name? Avery. I'm sorry, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Avery was a baller. Like this. She gets mad, and just pulls it off. That's how my anger is. I can just bounce back so quick. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like you say really mean things and then regret them? I don't regret anything I say. I say it, I mean it. Okay, I got a question for you. Whenever you <laughs> first saw, like, wanted to come on the podcast, what did you think it was going to be? And what did you, what is it now? Like, so I'm the kind of person who jumps from topic to topic. So I figured it would be like this. Okay. I've watched your some of your podcasts. But you weren't ner nervous or scared or nothing? No, I'm not okay, typically good. a nervous person. Good. I'm a full force. I'm a, yeah, I'm a full force. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say kind of person. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Yeah, yeah, good. Hell yeah. She loves Dr. Pepper. She don't want hives on her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what a, that, if I would have woke up and had hives on my penis... 
Mm. Yikes. Mm. I would have been pissed. Like, yeah, it's so uncomfortable. And, like, basically, but I don't wear underwear. hives are these bumps on your skin that are itchy and they burn. It's like an STD, but oh. it'll go away eventually. Guys, why are we all... <sighs> T- I need a sign. I'm about to order a sign. No right phones! Now. No Connor, phones! Damn it! Fight, Connor's texting all these ladies! Literally, actually, zero ladies text <laughs> me. Unless it's like, hey, can you meet me and teach me about algebra? Me? Hey, do you know how to do uh, Venn diagrams? <laughs> Venn diagrams? <laughs> I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> what class? Uh, it's it's uh, mathematics and liberal arts, I think. Yeah, you know what Trifle Trifle Even is. more math on yes. this guy's plate. Yes. Same class I had last year. Listen, last I he year. fucking sucks. So I called him a junior, but we haven't even met that many I times. I ended up stuff doing. Oh. Um, okay, what did you think about uh, me when we first met? Who do you have? Jory or something? Jory Wade. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a very judgmental person, so if you watch me in public, I'll I literally do, do this. That's fine. So I was probably looking at you like that. People walk up to me. You were. I was. Because I remember <laughs> when I met you. The first time I saw Such you. Such a judgmental. And I look. This is my resting bitch face. I'm like. Well, here's the thing. Y'all are a team back there. And I like. No. I know y'all get no. all these No, you think we communicate? Kids. You think we communicate in there? These these leaders, one of them will tell you to do something. And the other one, they're not on the same page. They'll tell you to do something completely different. Nobody communicates in there. Watch him watch this podcast and be like, watch this it. little shit <laughs> this little shit talker. Listen, I work my butt off and I've been trying to get a supervisor position and they put another woman who wasn't good at it in that position that I wanted. Mm. That's Boy. the worst. Can't Step on them with your platforms. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Listen, you, just pick it up. No. Why? I used to live what on... To talk? I need a stand or something right here. Here. I feel bad y'all getting an ad workout like... Listen. Listen, I gotta, I gotta maintain this figure somehow. What's so funny is I used to live on a very steep hill. I gotta build hill. my figure. <laughs> <laughs> I got a six pack, but it ain't of abs. <laughs> yeah, I used to, I used to live on a super steep hill, like, and I mean it was like steep, um, next to a train. It oh. was literally five feet away from our house. Was this big dip, so the train fell over, you know. So I lived on a really steep hill. My legs may not look that strong, but I have such strong legs. Mm-hmm. I could really hurt a bitch with my legs. <laughs> like, you're just... Like you're just what, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wild. She's really proud. Well, have you been in a fight? Um, I broke a girl's nose once. Oh, how? Okay, tell so me about So, I that. was in middle school, and this girl, Tracy, I Fuck was you, dating Tracy. this dude, okay, and... Just kidding, Tracy. I'm not Tracy's out here catching strays. Tracy Fugit? Yeah, I'm going to drop that last name. Don't look way. at her current boyfriend, because you'll die. <laughs> yeah. So quite literally, I was, um, Shelby, this girl named Shelby walks up to me, goes, like, and I was with Chris, what's his name? I was with Chris and Tracy, and Shelby walks up to us and goes, Tracy, if you don't tell her, I will, you have by the end of the day. And I was like, tell me what? (laughs) Guys, tell me what? And turns out, she was sending nudes to my boyfriend, and they planned to fuck on the playground at school. In middle school? Yeah. Yeah. I punched people her. were already having sex in middle school. Where Listen, you, the thing is, where'd you grow she up? didn't sober. Oklahoma, I said that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so anything. Yeah, yeah. So the Damn. thing is, the thing is, okay. Whoa. She didn't shower. She didn't shave. She was a very, very Whoa. dirty person. Chris, <laughs> honey, and then he went in and dated my sister. Of course he did. My sisters love getting with my exes. <laughs> Anna oh, talked yeah. to Emmett. Shang out with Chris. My sister. Chrissy, which I haven't called you out, I was her best friend. We were so close. Slept with my ex-boyfriend the week we broke up. So it's like a stay in the family type thing? Yeah. No. yeah. And okay. I told Avery, I looked at him and I was like, if you ever get with one of my sisters. That's kind of kinky. I swear to God, Avery, no one's going to find you. I swear to God. Right? I'm threatening him. He goes, who would I get with? Anna. <laughs> oh, I was like, Avery! Oh, diss my sister like that. Wow. Y'all are wild. My you, sister's if never... Me, if you throw that at me, this that? can's going to go flying. What happened? They're what throwing happened? paper at each other. Oh. If it hits me, <laughs> something's going to go flying. I hate things thrown at me. <laughs> Bro, I threw like one thing at you. You're over here like throwing the fucking... Hey, are you giving <laughs> attitude to my friend Dakota over here? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bro. You are you know last time that Bruh. happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, what we were okay, we were just saying something. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, no. My sister is getting with my exes. Before that, <laughs> <laughs> and 
the thing is, I acted like it was so normal. Yeah. It's not normal. When you're used to you, when you get used to getting treated bad, it seems like normal. And then whenever you tell your story to other people, and they're, they're like, like what? I told, I told my to friends that, and they go, Yeah. What did you just say? And I was like, yeah. Oh, they've gotten with my exes. They've fucked my sisters. Not and even, I was barely even in it. The thing is, the thing <laughs> is, you're in it. Chris is my age. My sister, Shane. She just turned 17. Uh-huh. Okay. And he's like 19, like 20. Um, my sister's older than me, so on and Emmett weren't that really big of a deal. But Kyle, and I know he's, he goes to school here. He go, he, he lives here. He got with my little sister after trying to get with me. After being in my... He, he was in my room. I was trying to help him with his homework. And he was like, oh, I fumbled, I fumbled, right? And then oh. he got with my sister. About my night. Kyle, Kyle Nelson. He goes here. Yeah. Oh God! You say nay. Oh, look, can do I have to bleep that out or no? You don't have to. They can. I mean, he can. He can see it. He knows. And I called him out. I was like, "You went with my." He, she was sixteen, Kyle. You're nineteen. Oh my God! Yeah. Dude, so I looked at him. I was like, "Kyle, different. honey." That's who just let us in in the building. Ugh. What I called. Who? The, the Kyle. Guy. Yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> wait. 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 Go he back. got with my little sister, and he he then proceeded to di- disrespect my sister by saying, "Oh, I didn't want to be with her. I was high the whole time." Disgusting. Honey, h- being high or being drunk are sober thoughts, and you were thinking of my sixteen-year-old sister like that. <gasps> Wait, how old is this guy? Nineteen, and she was sixteen. Wasn't even close to being seventeen. She just turned seventeen. That's weird. And he and he this is your friend. Me, he even told Dakota? me he was reaching. He was Sorry. reaching with my age. That's and I'm only a year younger than him. If I'm reaching in age, you got with someone two years younger than me. I changed her diapers. And you're oh. telling mm. <laughs> I got beef with this man. I could tell. He's going to know about he's it He's not a bad person. And I'm going to throw that. He's you're not, not a bad, bad person, person, but he slept with my little sister that was underage. Mm-hmm. And so people people can make bad decisions and it does not make them a bad person. You can be bad in relationships and not be a bad person. And I truly believe that. You can be bad in relationships, you can be bad for someone, but you can be a good person. And yeah, I do believe true. I do believe he's got potential to find someone and, and settle down and be happy. Just not your sister. Just not my sister. My empty Dr. Pepper can. Oh, oh my god. So here I saw a tweet today and it or it had said it's not even 2024 or we've only been two months of 2024 and we had the amish that built a tunnel <laughs> under new york no, city no no, no. Wait, no, what? no what that is the jewish the jews, the jews. were, oh no. were making tunnels not throughout amish, new york my bad. Bro, amish blame the, the amish there was one time i got so no no no, no. before before you move on have you heard of the guy that was in new york saying hey i think i hear yiddish yes coming from my basement and people thought no, he was crazy. coming from my floor, mm-hmm. and I live on basement level, so there's nothing under there. So then, like six months later, uh, he screenshots that exact post, and he says, "All of you owe me an apology for calling me crazy." They do, because he was in there fighting for his life, saying, yeah. "No, I'm hearing Yiddish. Yes. I'm hearing people." Hadi-ya-ya. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Go for it. For the record. I have Jewish ancestry, and I'm German, but, you know, that's a different story. That's my a, uncle is German. That's a, what? He, my uncle lives in Germany. Hey, we were, you gotta, I'm not letting you not do it. You gotta go. <laughs> Dude, that was good. So, that. That's my ancestry. That the happened. Amish, the guy who jumped over and beat the, la- the, court, <laughs> the courtroom lady on her left. <laughs> He was getting sick. How am I missing all of this? Jump, whack, and we had a country icon die from cancer. Travis Tritt? Mm. Whoa. No. I don't think that was right. That's Tommy not Key. Travis. Tommy it was, yeah. I'm so disappointed in you right now, Trent. Take your hat off. Take Say your hat off. Say a prayer. A prayer? Whoa. Oh, are we doing He's this? He's got better hair than I, I do. Say a prayer. What about what are we? What are you doing? Oh, saying a prayer. Oh. Saying oh. A prayer. I gotta hold some hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, guys, I'm not used Take to. Take your hat off. I'm not, oh Sorry. yeah, brother. Will you pray with me, dear Holy Father? Thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us a beautiful weather the last couple days. Thank you for watching over us as we go through halfway through our semester. I hope us. Hopefully, everyone 
gets through with good grades and watch everyone as they go home and watch over the men and women fighting for our freedoms overseas. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, God bless Toby. By the way, a side note, Trent's hands are really, like, cold and clammy. His hands were (laughs) hot and sweaty. Really, really (laughs) cold and clammy. (laughs) What's so funny is, like, I'm... What what she did is her hands are also cold. cold. Yeah, but they're not clammy. I'm agnostic. Yours are, yours are just is cold. that what the word is? I'm agnostic. I don't believe in God himself, but I believe that there's a higher power. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I tell it's religion. easier just to tell people that I'm oh, atheist. Yeah, so I tell people I'm atheist, but I do believe there's a higher power. But it's so hard to someone some people don't know what agnostic is. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to explain it to you, so I just tell people that I'm atheist. That's where I'm at, kinda. Agnostic. No like, wonder you like it's like you Dr. believe Pepper the truth so in every religion, right? What does that have to do with anything? What is my craving in obsession just, with Dr. I Pepper like with anything? Have you never there's watched something out South there? Park? No. I just don't think it's a fairy tale That's guy up in the sky that tells me if I lie, I'm gonna burn in a pit of hell. Yeah. Dude, that dude, me? those dudes were on that corner. That were on that corner last semester. They looked at me. He goes, "You're a sinner." I looked at him and I was like, "You're yelling at me." He's a sinner for You're judging me. <laughs> He's a sinner for judging. <laughs> he literally yeah. screamed right in my face. I was wearing all black. My hair was up, dude. He's sitting. To him, I probably look like a Satanist wearing all black. Oh, hold no, I, hold on. Let's put a pin. Okay, no, I'm gonna. We're gonna come back to this. Remind me of the little girl we were talking about. Huh? Yeah, I don't little know what girl? Yeah, I got you. There was this girl, she was blah, 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 yelling at me. But, no, like, that's where I kind of, I'm at. I just don't know. I know there's something out there. Just I not just don't, necessarily the Bible, God. The Bible there's so many holes in down. that. Yeah. People have lust and love and the kings have been in control and they've taken this out and they've and taken that out. And you can't sit here out. and tell me just because two people sin no. that you should make everybody else suffer and the whole language is written in a language that wasn't can't even be transcribed into english so it's so we probably don't know wrong what the fuck we're yeah. saying and what's been nitpicked in and out and people base their whole life off this now i'm, I'm all for like you, raising my children yeah. in the church and if, if that's they want to be religious honey you be religious yeah. my roommate is religious she can talk about god all she wants i'm not going to shame her if you want to be religious honey you do that but the last thing that you need to do is come up to me and try and shame me for not believing in your god no yeah. fuck you if you do that you're and an awful person then they try to make their whole oh well you're living life wrong it's like no i just i'm not living it through that christian lens like, like i believe i'm turning it into worm worm food at the end of this thing yeah i don't think I'm even gonna at go the up end the of the sky. day every That's just how I feel. like hieroglyph hieroglyphs or whatever they could have different gods every like there was this one god who turned into an ant and brought a, a kettle of corn to some people and gave them crops every religion different god but there's one thing in common is that you guys all believe in a god okay so do not shame somebody else for believing in something different. And just because they dress differently or they act differently does not mean that you need to shame them. Exactly. That or like every religion has killed for its religion. Yes. So what I find funny is that like, um, you know, I was born in a Baptist church basically, but like, it's like the 10 commandments thou shall not kill. But like, there used to be like wars against like, if you weren't Christian, then you were You're dead. done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, that's what I find really hypocritical about the Bible as well. Um, or like recently in my sociology class, I feel like everyone hates me now because the professor had asked like, do you agree with the death sentence? And everyone else was like, well, now it goes against my views or my religion, which, you know, all the more power to you. If you kill, you, you should be killed. Yeah, like, all the more mm-hmm. power to you. Like, if that's what you believe in, then that's great. I'm not going to judge you or, you know, criticize you for that. But at the same time, my view, because I was the only one who spoke up that disagreed, I feel like, yes, where are the victims' rights that died? Like, if somebody Honestly, that nerfed one girl, my family, mm-hmm. I'd want you to be nerfed. You yeah. Know? That and one they, girl who killed her rapist? Yeah. Good for you, honey. Yeah. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, no. I th- that all little 13 year old girl who, go- who got raped and then killed her rapist. And if a woman is going to get a death sentence for having an abortion anyway, um, then that rapist should also have a death sentence yeah. instead of getting just six months in jail. Yeah. Because then you have 18 years of your life taken away because some man couldn't pull out after raping you. Not even the mental Get trauma. Get together. Yeah. What about that girl you were talking about that you said put a pin in? That just reminded me. Yeah. Talk about that. What, what happened? So this girl, I told it on the last pod, we were walking down a hallway and they were partying. And she like unprovoked opens the door and like looks. There's like nine people. And she's like, oh, who's all here? She sees the code and she's like, immediately just says like, ew. And like he's whatever he's banned and I all heard this about stuff. That, yeah. I'm like, 
Right. First of all, fuck you. Don't He's ever such say a that. little cutie pie. Look yeah, at him. I mean, look at him. He looks so exactly. innocent. What could you have done to bro, make this girl hate you? Bro was such a cutie pie. Look at him. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh we got a kiss on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it, that just pissed me off, you know, because we had started being friends probably that week. We also hanging out. That's the first time I met you. you, I met you in my opinion, if you yeah, don't friends, friends, friends. Yeah, well, if you don't like someone, true. like I might not be the biggest fan of Kyle because he got with my sister, but I'm not gonna sit here and be mean to him. I'm still nice and I still have respect for him because him as a person does not define the fact that he did get with my sister. And I get and he has shown like that he's sorry and he has apologized a lot. And I'm not gonna like sit here and define him as oh the guy who got with my sister. Exactly. He he's his own person. Bro. Okay, he can be whatever he wants to be. Like my last name, well my mom's maiden name. He, we have a rapist on that side. And if I want the whole name, I'm not going to define it as the rapist's last name. Mm-hmm. I'm going to define it as whatever I want to be. So do not define someone because they made a mistake. Yeah. Period. Amen. And Dakota did none of that to this chick. But she walks out and is like saying all this stuff. And I'm like, when she shut the door, I looked at him. I was like, don't fucking don't listen, listen to, to that. Like, don't listen to her. That, that was nothing but hate in meanness and she's projecting she's probably drunk she has hate in her heart because something probably happened to her exactly mm-hmm. exactly so keep that in mind that, I posted that what four or five days ago at this yeah point? I, I feel like I watched that podcast and I heard about that I'm gonna hear about this again. so I'm walking <laughs> I'm walking last night I'm walking was scout you out. Ago? it was sometime in the last couple days last I podcast. was walking to uh, the front door from the calf and I had my airpods in and I watched mm-hmm. this little girl little small person I don't know why I keep saying the little girl. But she's coming out of the college thing and she looks at me and then looks back. And so I'm, I'm just scrolling up my phone and then I hear the voices get louder and oh. like they're yelling. I'm like, what the, what? The? And what I, think, I thought she was saying, bitch, get in the car. Just get in the car. Get in the car <laughs> to her friend. Cause Sounds it was like, like three I girls. But I think she was saying, oh, bitch. I got all that shit, that hate in my heart. I got all that hate. It was the girl. She was, was yelling at me. She was like, oh, I got that hate in my heart. Like, Honestly, what? people do project. And, and I was like, look at yourself. Now you're screaming at me from across the campus. I, so I worked you at do Walmart. have the hate in your heart. I worked at Walmart, and I got I accidentally wrung something up twice, and I saw it, and I was removing it, but this woman threw a gallon of milk at me because... She was having a bad day, and there was another time this woman was screaming at me, and I paid for the rest of her groceries. Wait, what kind of milk was it? It had the red cap. Whole milk? Whole milk? Whole milk? Yeah. This girl was throwing around yeah. whole milk? <laughs> she threw it at me, and it hit the floor. I, it, she didn't even hit me with it. It hit the floor, and it busted everywhere. Um, people mm. like that just need, you need to calm down. Well, like, what other issues do you think you got, they got going on? I don't know, but the, also, the, like so the woman, you. the woman who I paid for her groceries, she was in front of her kids and she was screaming and she was buying food for her kids and she had like $30 left because her wig didn't take it off and I paid for it while she was screaming at me, um, because she was angry. She was doing this in front of her kids. I paid for it. She shut up so quick, walked out and her oldest son looked at me and said, I am so sorry for my mom's actions. She does this really often, and what you just did was super kind because we haven't had food in our house for a while. Oh, We've been so living off the McDonald's dollar menu for about a month, that and I so felt sweet. so bad. Well, the conversation you had with that kid, that kid is already grown up mentally because that of the way kid, his mom is. Yeah, for him to even say that? That kid, he was probably like 15. Oh. For a 15-year-old kid to look at me and say that, it really broke my heart because what do you have to go through? For your mom to do this so often that you have to talk to another stranger like that. That's terrible. And so sad. Yeah, it is. It is really sad. And I felt, I felt in my heart, I felt so bad for that kid because of what he's going through. But you, I mean, how did you feel after that? You probably felt enriched and good. I felt really bad for the kid. Yeah. I was really, really upset. Well, I mean, um, like, happy that you could provide and actually get I was really little. happy that I could get these kids their food. She didn't even have half a cart full of food. And she had, like, four kids. And as a, as someone who grew up with a mom... What are you guys talking about? Mm-hmm. As someone who grew up with a mom who had four kids and struggled sometimes, I completely understand what this kid is going through. Yeah. My mom wouldn't sit here and scream at people, but my mom would struggle times where she would have to work 78 hours as a paramedic making less than people who work at Walmart make. Oh, which is crazy. so messed up like m- nearly minimum wage paramedics and first responders make 13 only 13 dollars what why what why why mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. what's the time say? Hour 13. so we've only been going 47 minutes <laughs> oh. 
What? Yeah. I feel like we've been on like for two hours. almost two hours. Yeah. Imagine doing a four hour podcast. Uh-huh. Well, no, like I would be like, glad I to feel come like back. We've gone through like eight different conversations. Oh already. my god. AD. Yeah. ADHD is yeah. what causes this. There's so much more to talk about too. Yeah. Ugh. My poor mom. Bro. Well, the, I the sacrifices your parents will make, you'll never ever even know until. There were times my mom would date people who had money so she could feed us kids. That what? Wait, what? She would date people who had money so she Wait. could feed us and put them on oh, the table. Oh, what I thought I... you said feed us like kids. I didn't hear. I was like, what? no, no. She <laughs> would, she <laughs> would, she would be with people who had the money to feed us so no. that when, her uh, kids can eat. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. My mom, she was a really amazing mom. My dad was never there and didn't pay child support, so she wasn't getting any help from my father mm. at all. When uh, when my parents split and my mom got sick and she was working for homeless. You see um, yeah. She would like. She I did it again. <laughs> did it twice. <laughs> I think um, I could just actually spin it all the way around. I could just lean over. Oh, wait, it's wrong. Just give him another uh, um, kiss. kiss. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. crazy. We had our first. It is so hot in yeah. here. I am sweating so bad. It's hot. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay. I don't know. If some like our AC is out or something, but like I have it set to like sixty. Every time I move it, nothing changes. I feel um, like. but yeah, you need to report that or get an AC in one of these windows. The ACs is the ACs are really nice. My room is at like fifty degrees every day. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I live in the cold, okay, and I got like ten blankets on my bed, honey, and a heated blanket. I am set for a life. Okay, but it's like seventy four in here, and I'm wearing a jacket. It's so hot. It is indeed super but hot yeah. in here. Um, <laughs> she would. She ended up like dating this guy just so we had a place to live. We were able to sleep mm-hmm. on some couches and stuff. My mom. So when our house burned down, we were, we were living. Up. We were living in a motel in Hugo, Nothing. and that's when I got those hives. But. The, she would take us to go eat at fast foods and she felt, she felt so bad because she had to evict the people who were living in the house that she was renting so we could have a place to live and then my dad lost his house and my mom was in a better place and she gave my dad the house that she lived in when his house went down so I've had two house fires when people can go their whole life without having one and then we almost lost our third house there was a fire um, in the woods behind our house I've almost lost three houses to the fire that's crazy. crazy. What are you doing? Are you like a pyromania? <laughs> so we, so the first time we were in Tulsa, three hours away from our house, the pool pump set the house on fire. Mm. It, it, it went haywire. Crazy. The flames were so high. It was a one-story building that the firefighters were like, we don't need directions. We can see the glow from here in town. And we live on the outskirts. Mm. And then the second house, we didn't even know it was on fire until it went out by itself. And we lived in the country. And then people started stealing from our storage area, which is where all my childhood stuff is. And I have this one specific um, stuffed animal that I had um, that means a lot to me. And I'm pretty sure it's gone. And if it isn't, hasn't been stolen, it was chewed up by rats. And oh I'm allergic God. to those. So <laughs> so you can't even touch it. So I can't even have it. So, like, do you, have you ever <laughs> been to a zoo? Yes. I have been to No zoos. allergicness Are there? you just, like, sneezing the entire time? So, my problems started happening when I was, like, 12 or 13, and I hadn't been to a zoo since then. Mm. So, I wouldn't know. So, we should do a group Yo. zoo trip. Yo. Zoo Let's hey. all go to the zoo. Hey. Hell yeah. Wait, Wednesdays, Fort Worth Zoo is free. Wednesday, y'all are willing to drive two hours. Like hours I would love to go to, hours, to, go to the two zoo. Two I'm two off two on Wednesday, you guys. Live in Fort Worth. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, wait, we've talked about this. Yeah. Y'all need to go check out the Texas Tulips. Dude, I oh took my, my girlfriend there when so I was bad. 16. Really? Yes. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was nice. Actually, I actually have the pictures. I, I think I'm I allergic to there. pollen because I walk outside and I get hives sometimes. And that's not normal. Dakota, I think Connor has a special place he wants to take you. <laughs> yeah, y'all. We did make eye contact as soon as <laughs> I said y'all that. Y'all need to kiss. <laughs> right now, kiss, kiss, kiss. Dude, kiss. I am. Don't peer no. pressure them. If they want to kiss, let the them kiss. Girls? What about that? No, I have a no. boyfriend. Hey, I mean, I did compliment her dress. We at we her actually prom. so yeah, she was at the prom that um at my school, and she oh. looked gorgeous. Like I was so jealous of her. She walks up to me. I was I think I was in the bathroom. Show us pics. I don't even know if I. That's where one. girls do all their complimenting. Is in and the she bathroom. looks at me. She goes, yeah. "I absolutely love." Your dress. I had gotten. I a, got a green one the next year. The thing is, I got I got you. it six months prior, and I still fit it after six Girl, months. Girl, you look so good. 
I no, did. I felt you so do, good. girl. I felt so good. I was like, oh my god, a girl complimented me? Because like, when you're a girl and another girl compliments you, yeah. <laughs> it means so much It means more. so much. If a guy came up to me and was like, you're really cute, I'd be like, oh, well, thanks. If a girl came up to me and goes, oh my god, you're so beautiful, I'd be like, oh my god, thank you. I'm not going to show this because this is my ex when I was 16. But See, we went. Or that's th- cool. The other... Oh. I'm try to blur her face. I don't think she wants to be known... I th- this is whenever I have like the two. I don't think she wants to n- yeah. people to know she knows me. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna do that. What am I doing? You were what am I you doing? looked so good. No, see I'm the other oh, way yeah. around. You look like oh, yeah. a um Who's that uh old timey girl lady uh with the dark Whoa, hair? What? This was with the dark this hair. Oh, oh my wow. god, you look like yeah. uh, you look she like uh, the brave. Deserves all the compliments. I got that dress six months prior. Do you know how hard it is to stay the same weight for six months? To fit in that dress? I had to stay the same weight for six months. Oh, because you got it fitted and all that? No, I, I bought it like that. It fit me. So I was really down in my spirits because I had not found a dress and I tried so many. And I'm not a dress girly, okay? I do not like dresses. My mom was like, Katie, just try this last one on. And I was like, it's green. I don't really want to wear green. She was just try it on. You might love it. I tried it on. Immediately fell in love. I That was probably the hardest I've ever felt in my life. Yeah, Holy scared. shit. I'm a very insecure person. I'm proud of you. I honestly don't think I'm a pretty person. That's literally, when I tell people that, they're like, I'm like, no, listen, because you don't understand. I have never found myself yeah, to be a pretty person because cool. my sisters are so gorgeous. And it makes me so. My sister, she's so skinny. She's got this beautiful long blonde hair past her butt. She got these blue eyes. I'm like, can I have that? See, people always the blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, it's a, it's overplayed. Well, okay, so in every country song, hardly any of them mention brown eyes. Anybody ever realize that? What? Are we interrupting a date over here? <laughs> I'm showing him my prom dresses. Y'all were over here like, oh, you gotta show us. That's what I'm doing. Show the class. I you look get, so no, good. No, I didn't get the red one so because the next I remember I actually you. got red and my I actually hated the dress. So I got, I got a next. green one instead because of you. I because got of my me? suit oh. for free. For Must be nice. My bad, Trent. I'm just see, falling in love over here. Red here. Look, you'll see the green one. Which way? Oh, I've seen that picture. See this? You look like the Rose, Julia Rose girl. Oh. But that's the one I got because of her. Oh, yeah. I was about to say that's probably pretty close to the one hers. Yeah, you look like a Jessica Rabbit. I do? Nah. In the, with that, the cut, the dress. With the cut of yeah. the dress. I got you. The neckline. You need to dye your hair red. That's me. Hell no. Um, oh, you're just a cutie the red dress I have, and I, I hated it. My mom was like, you look so good in that dress. No, green and it made me feel so, so ugly. And I did not want it, but I didn't have to tell my mom that I didn't want this dress. Mm. Um, so I'm trying to find a picture of it. I yeah. felt terrible in that dress. I've never been to a prom. I've really? never been. Yeah. My boyfriend doesn't want to go to a senior prom. Never Let's been go to crash high prom. schools. I am down. Been, been no, but uh, I get I'm not. I'm not going to show this one to the pod. But that's me in a in a suit. Oh, I love the blue. Oh. Was this recent? This was like. Four, three, three years ago. A very nice looking oh, he date, look, my boy. You look almost very exactly nice looking the same. Date. <laughs> Proud of you. Um, Distinguished gentleman. No, yeah. I went to like, I don't know, five. That prom with the green oh, dress. Must be nice. The, no, it was. You no. Had to pay for every one of them. My prom with the green dress. I had then shaved half my head and I had a Viking braid on the down the side. That's pretty bold cool. for that is prom. Sick. That's pretty cool. Do you I have a looked, picture? I do have a picture. I can find it. Let me find a picture of this red one first. Yes. And I'll show you. My first co- my senior year, I got in with Men's Warehouse, and they were doing, like, a free deal thing. And, I uh, felt so ugly in this dress. Why? I hated it. We need to. What's up with all our parents? Oh, my God. Oh, it, my God. I remember seeing you at Walmart. and did, I Oh, was, I was in was, that dress. I was uh, shit-talking your ex. Wait, <laughs> which wait. one? Oh no, Avery. No. Avery is so yeah. I was shit talking yeah, to him. You why? But that's because that's because I know his brother, Landon. Landon. He's st- Land. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I 
Just getting all Anyways, ass. Avery and Landon <laughs> are polar opposites, if it makes you feel any better about yourself. No, no, because, okay. No, because hey, yeah. Landon was such a fucking, like, little weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and um and and i was like oh okay avery has to be a little fucking creep too but no, that was not the case not avery yeah they're not even related they're step siblings they're step siblings mm-hmm. but they are polar opposites they are so avery but, is so sweet he's so kind but no landon recently i guess broke up with this girl named paisley or whatever pacey Pace, Pace, yeah, Pace, Pace. yeah and uh he tried hitting up my friend aubrey and uh, she goes here too, by the way. So shout out to Aubrey. Right. And he's like, I think I remember him talking about the fact that he's talking to like other girls. Yeah. No, oh. no, he's he's weird. What's so bad about it is like Pacey and Landon work right next to each other. Boot Barn in the place next to Boot Barn. I oh, the furniture like, store or something, or like something the like the I think appliance like store. Baumgars. No, Boot Barn's right next to another place. I can't remember what it was. Maybe something like that. Factor supply. Maybe. Anyway, I don't know. I don't keep up with Landon that much. We have not talked. Me and Avery been together for a year and a half, and me and Landon are just now starting to talk to each other. I'm not just giving him straight ass over here. Pretty much, but it's fine. And it gives more clicks. More views. And it actually is working out because she's on this side. You're kind of in the middle, and then Connor's on the back. So everybody. Hey. Be so we can see everybody. Pretty much, yeah. See, I was worried about that. I kept on leaning. Back. <laughs> I was like. No, I but, shifted. I shifted right. myself. But no, he was like over here trying to get in my friend Aubrey's like oh, panties, yeah. you know. And then like if he did that, she would have oh, had a the panties. <laughs> she would have. She would have had a itchy coochie too. But yeah, itchy, I mean she's not itchy, like that. Itchy, itchy, ooh. I love you. <laughs> I got some. But, but she's not like that though. So I mean, yeah. Landon, I hope you watch this. Yeah. Fuck you. You're horrible to go. Ha- horrible to go to high school with. <laughs> To find, like, this. Are you trying to look? Are you trying to look for a photo of them? No, I'm looking for a photo of what I look like after I shave my head. My nails were like an inch long. Oh my god! Ooh. Yeah, those dagger nails. How long did it take to grow back? I then shaved the rest of it. So this is the hair that I didn't shave. This this is so much shorter than this. I kind of like it though. It it does give me lots of layers, and it's going to take forever for me to be able to actually cut my hair to where it doesn't grow out wonky. I, uh, Never shave your head, kids. It sucks. Unless you can pull it off. I, I did the off. top. My dad in high school, he wouldn't let me grow my hair long. So I just did the top long and mm-hmm. then let it fall as much as I could. And my sides would I get shaved. I look like a lesbian. I look like, yeah, at the same. We I love actually, lesbians. I, I have like a picture. This I, picture. We love lesbians. I look like a hardcore lesbian. My voice would fell for me when I look like that. Wow. Fair enough. I was dating another Smash. <laughs> Bro, we I'm gotta joking. Get, bro, <laughs> I'm we we gotta do the episode where we have like somebody come in for dating, like. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like sure. love is blind. Me and Luke was talking about that. Like, we the, gotta do that. Like I'm sure my boyfriend love is blind, blind, but like in each of these rooms, so like you you bring the microphone. My boyfriend wants to be on a podcast so bad. Oh, we're gonna have the girls in here, and then one and then, guy yeah. and me, oh, and yeah, I'm gonna no, have no, questions no. of like yeah. random facts. Yeah, and you'll walk or, in. No, you stay out here. You do the questions or whatever, and then like ooh ooh. And yeah. then the guy's here, and then, all right, next girl, and then someone comes in. Oh, I mean, yeah. The only problem like, is these right walls. Here. So, man, yeah, my boyfriend wants to be on a yeah. podcast so bad. He wants to be on. He wants to be on a podcast. He could be on this Tell one. Tell him to pull up. <laughs> well, he can't today. Well, he will eventually. What a guy. After hearing what? you talk for a, uh, however long, he's going to be like, Just dude, I got to go set the record straight. I like it. <laughs> He is such a sweet guy. He is so that. good to me. I'm glad you found someone that makes you happy. He makes me. What's so funny is I had a crush on him in May. I had a hallway crush. Do you know what that is? A hallway? I didn't like know you it. just see him in the hall? I, no, I didn't know anything about him, but I thought he was really cute. And I, I walk up to him. I walk up to him. He was a cart pusher at Walmart, and I worked inside. And I go, all my confidence. They got you going, huh? I, yeah, I know. I, I All there. of my confidence. Stop. Right there. Like, like, oh, oh, there's shit. a cart <laughs> way over there. <laughs> I was sitting outside to push cards and I thought he was cute so I walk up to him all my courage do you have a girlfriend he goes it's complicated and then just shoulders around me and he just goes right around me and I was like okay this was in May we started dating October 8th so you put in that work I, I, I had the baddest crush you on chased. him you were playing the long game girl and then so I started dating one of his his co-workers at a pity oh. anyway and then we broke up and then me and avery got together i have not been so happy oh whoa that's a different Damn. look there's a hitch in your step i love him so much oh my god i'm so happy for you <laughs> that's awesome you. does anybody have any crushes anybody do you have a crush not at the moment do you have a crush I mean, 
I mean, I kind of have one, but he's an asshole because apparently that's all I go after. And he's in the yeah. oil field right now. So she chose I'm Colton. Just like, what? And Colton was not a good guy. No, no. He Colton said, was such a fucking nerd. He dude. was such an ass. Dude, oh. okay. So um, I dated right. this guy for like a year and a half. I broke up with him because his ass was so far up his like. Or his head was so far up his fucking mom's ass. Bro, I was I to God. say, you're like, no, his ass was, was just too fat. Boy. He was a mommy's boy. It was just boy. too <laughs> fat of an ass. Yeah. He was, you need to cut that mommy's out. Anyways, boy. uh, no, he was such a mommy's boy, bro. Like, I swear to God, the relationship that him and his mom had was so fucking weird. Like, they like, could be together kind of weird? Like, yes. Oh, uh, she had a yes. crush on him? No, oh, like, she would, so dude, like, anytime I'd come over, she would get so mad and, like, defensive Ooh. and, like, so up in her space, you know? Like, like... Like, for what? Because you were for touching what? on my little boy. Yeah, and, like, she would, Ugh. like... Avery's mom would look at me and go, like, you stole my child's innocence. Me? No, bro, she would always shit talk me. I remember sitting in a chair, and she opened up the door, didn't know I was there, and the door, like, covered me, so she couldn't see me. She was shit talking about me to her son right in front of my face, so I kicked open that door. I said, bitch, you got something to say. Say it to my fucking face. And she? she was like, she was like, well, I don't like you. You're not, you know, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, okay. Okay, whatever you say. So she was like threatening to fight me, and then this at this point woman. in time, me and him were like kind of in a rough patch, anyways, because I was like, I don't think you're really like the type of guy I want anymore. Because he's he was too sweet. He was like really weird too, and I just don't like men who's like he was one of the popular calves boys are too. smaller than my. He was too sweet. Wrist, yeah. So listen, I like in a assholes. weird way. He was so. Weird. I like I like assholes. Okay, I like men who are a little mean, but like like mean Only on the streets. Yeah. But super nice sheets, to you, yeah. yeah. You know, so like, I mean, listen, the one guy. I you like, like that toxicity that gets you going. I do. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Hit toxic up, men. Toxic What's men. your okay? Perfect time. What's your snap? Toxic well, men. Snap your insta. I don't even know my snap. I will. I don't even know. I just figured this would be a good moment. Listen. Don't give, 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 snap give your track. give. Okay. Listen. Ray Ray underscore Brooke with an E. Okay. Okay. Toxic what are you all, What are you bringing to the table for these gentlemen? What well, she got body. Just be like. I got. I got body. Uh. Yeah. Body. My, my my personality's great, but like you know. Her body. Period. But like everyone, <laughs> yeah. What body you, comes first. What are you doing to better yourself for society? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. That's a really good question. That's a really that's good question. Need to know, because I, I'm going into nursing. So like any blue collar assholes, I'm perfect for you. Mm. Yeah, nursing, nursing major. Nursing so be asshole sometimes. No. Yeah, yeah. N- nursing. I've had a new, okay, the newer ones. I've yeah. had a couple what? asshole nurses. The yes. newer, younger ones. Yeah. What about men who are really, really into numbers? Numbers? A, B, C. What do you mean by numbers? One, two, three. One, two, three. Math. Math? Math. Oh, you're trying to get a date. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to shoot see, my shot. Trying to he secure that Wait, 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 wait. You're trying to shoot your shot on the podcast? Oh, yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> Might wait. as well. It's not like this is going out or nothing. Listen, I got... No, I'm <laughs> It is 3.45. There is a Chili's down the road, and there is five of us. That's all I'm going to say. There is a Chili's down the road. A Chai Lies down the road, and I have a discount code. Oh, shit. For some free chips and salsa. But no free Dr. Pepper, though. That's all right. I'll pay for Dr. Pepper any any hour of any day. So we're, like, going... Okay, okay. Do you have anything to say about your bad ex? Um, Fuck that bitch. What's his name? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no. I don't no, know. Don't, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had enough names. Yeah. Wait, no, we've, oh, we've already yeah, said yeah. his name. We've already said his name. He was one of the names that were yeah. thrown out there earlier before already, we even we started throwing names out. His name is yeah. Colton. Like, right as soon as I came through the door. Oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. You're the one who was dating Colton, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that happened already. Um... Yeah. Well, everybody's gonna know it, or Colton's yeah. gonna know now. Well, it's okay. He then I gotta get him on and get his side ha- of the story. He doesn't have a college education or like a job. He sucks at keeping those two. So oh, you know, roasted, dude. Are you employed anywhere? Yeah. I, okay. So I work night shift at the hospital. I do like twelve hour shifts. So I'm, like seven p to seven a. So I like work in ER, PCU, med surge, ICU. So I like work everywhere. What's your What's your least favorite job or part about your job? Fucking med surge. I hate it there. Uh-huh. And what I hate the most is we have these new things called peer wicks. 
and it's different. So it's like an external catheter almost. Oh, and man. what we do is for like males, females, it's easy. It's like a little banana that we put in between your legs and it like sucks up all the pee or whatever. <laughs> and uh, for males though, you have to like grab their, <laughs> their pee pees. You have to like grab their dick and balls. <laughs> and like and balls. And like scoop it up into this fucking bag. And balls? You have to grab their dick and balls. <laughs> With like one hand. And you have to like maneuver it somehow to like make sure it's in the little pouch. And if men do not have the right anatomy for it. So like if they have an any or something. Like a... Like, like, yeah. Belly button? No. Like like they're... They're... <laughs> Their wiener, if it's like an any or something, whoa, and it whoa, won't go whoa, in. Okay, so whenever you get older, do you mean do you have the foreskin or something? No, no. Oh, okay. Shrinks? Yeah. So whenever you get older, your penis shrinks. Wow. If you no. guys aren't packing, yeah. if you guys aren't packing, but are you saying it shrinks or does it just like go up in this little sleeve? No, like it. it okay, so as you get older, you know stuff shrinks or whatever. But Spines, like depending also on like you know what type of other underlying conditions you have sometimes like their scrotum will be swollen or like just enlarged if they have like prostate for example like uh-huh. their scrotum is like bigger and their balls are bigger than normal and then they're like Audi becomes an innie so like if we can't get the wiener inside the bag then the bag can't collect the pee and the pee can't go into the so you go find container that Sometimes, yeah, we have to like press it down. Like, so we have to press the skin down with like two like fingers and pop it out and <laughs> like, put it like a turtle. Yeah. And it'll just. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you say it's like a turtle? It's like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. So that would have to be my least favorite part. Oh, I thought that was your favorite. No. That, that would be my least favorite <laughs> too. What was my least favorite? I'm messing with you. Now, what's your favorite? Uh, my favorite would probably <laughs> She's like, be whenever we uh, get them ready to go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so wholesome. My bad. I'm yeah. like an idiot. Yeah. yeah, that must be good. Like, get them all nice, taken care of. And Send them back to the nursing home. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, nobody no talks about so how many shaking. times first responders are called to the nursing home because someone falls. Oh, my God. Ooh. Some of that's Every day. Easier. There's an old person who falls every day in Bryan County. They're always called out. There was this one time this woman called, and she was like, my babies are dying. My babies are dying. It was her cat. Aww. Take it to the vet. My mom was like, "We can't do anything for your cat." I wasn't trained to be a vet. You have to take it to the vet. That's so sad. Though. It is sad, but my mom calls them BS calls, which means bullshit calls. If you get a call and it, it's stupid. They're bullshit. Brayden said the same thing. He said that they like they hurt their back or they can't do something. BS yeah. calls. They oh just call God. out there. Dude, so many people come through the ER because they're like, "I can't breathe." Then they smoked like six packs that day. Have like CHF. And, like, COPD, and they're over here, like, I can't breathe. And then they'll, like, yell at us for, like, breathing treatments, and we'll just send them back home. Yeah. Man, I... People are crazy. The worst thing's ever happened... Yeah. 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 That was obviously something else. Is this place haunted? First of all... Your fan has been making me angry. I hate repetitive noises. Listen to that. ASMR. I just can't believe that guy passed away in Chick. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. Back we're back. Oh, that was the first thing we about. talked about. Yeah. If we can come, because that, like, that's, like, he died. Dog. You're so stuck on that, right? Like, yeah, he died. I not everybody in a room. In family, the Where's word. that room? What room was it? It's, I don't it's, live it's, in it's Chick. Room. It's Luke's fucking room? Yeah. It's Luke's room? Yeah. So, you know the how. The guy th- died in Luke's room? Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Are you? Oh I forget so, that. We used to play basketball together. We used to talk. So I, I literally forget that not everybody was raised in a family where death is talked about so naturally and normally, like it's nothing. I've been in that room. I've been on that bed. Yeah. I, I'm so used to like talking about death that it just, it just like it's a natural conversation. It's like the same talking about someone's pet. Because I lived in a family where my mom, literally a dude, shot himself, loaded the gun, recocked it. In the face, shot himself again, drove home, tried to drown himself, and he's alive because of my mom. So I'm super used to talking about death. How bad was his aim? He shot right here, so he missed the brain. Mm-hmm. He shot right here twice. If he would have angled a little bit back more, he would have killed himself. But he reloaded the gun, recocked it, was an old shotgun, and then he drove home, tried to kill himself by drowning himself. His mom found him. And he's alive because of my mom. So I'm super used to hearing about death and things like that because I was raised in a family where it was normal. My mom 
always been on calls or somebody needed help and, and things like that. So it's normal for me to talk about death. But I forget that not everybody's raised in a family like that. And that's why I'm not afraid to say, like, vagina and penis is because, <laughs> you know, I was raised in a family where that was talked about. Well, my yeah, mom, my awesome. mom is so funny. She'll walk out and talk about her sex life as, like, it's nothing. I was gonna tell you a story. I'm glad my mom doesn't I was that gonna part, tell though. you a story, but I don't think my mom wants that out there. <laughs> you, yeah, it'd be good to check with her first before yeah. you go. Yeah, I mean, she walks out and like she, I wasn't there. I was working that night, and I get home and she tells me about this story. Like I, I needed to know. My We're mom all virgins is, here, yeah. No. What? I literally had sex last night. So. <laughs> Pop that pussy, girl. <laughs> literally. How about you, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, girl. I popped that pussy last <laughs> night. Uh, uh, no. I'm a virgin. Yeah. I, I ain't like even going to put my hand over there. I don't believe you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> don't you shame. Don't you shame my girl like I'm that. I'm not shaming nothing. I no, just, I'm, right. I've already had. Why is your chapstick so far up? Because somebody stepped on it. <laughs> And it pissed me off. You can like actually, guys, if yeah. you guys, if you guys have I haven't been chapstick a lot of pieces. and it melts into the lid, you can You're actually high. blow dry it and fix your chapstick. So if you guys ever have chapstick that melts and it's in the lid, just blow dry it. Just heat it up and then put your thing down all the way, like the chapstick yeah, tube, clean. and melt it. It'll go right back into Ooh, place. Just make sure the lid is on correctly or it will come out the sides. Hopefully the That's why I fixed my chapstick hasn't been yesterday. focused on that. That would suck. Actually, it would make perfect sense because the only thing in focus oh, is what matters. Okay, so here's the thing. Back to that. Okay, back to the dead guy. <laughs> what are we talking about? Away, guy. Oh. I just find that so crazy that nobody told me that and I've been in that room 30 times. Well, you're yeah. welcome. I told you. Yeah, now I'm not going back in there. That's wild. You're welcome. The stuff that's happened in that room. Do you know how many people actually kill themselves when they go to college because they're away from family and they're really stressed out about grades or sports or something like that? What the hell? Dude, so- I'm telling you. you Open that just- door. Let's see who's there. You think someone's just opening their door? Probably. Why are you wearing heels? You have... I literally said that earlier. I know, but I never, I never asked bitch. why. Someone's walking down the hall. Because she wants... Damn, them. they walk loud as shit. <laughs> Did you get dressed up for the pod? No, I just dressed like this all the time. Whoa, that was not... That was... <laughs> Exactly. You know what? I did. Me and my girl. I got dressed up for the pod. Oh, These are my favorite pants. My pants have little skeletons with wings. I know. They I look cool. I SpongeBob shirt on. <laughs> I'm wearing a hoodie that's not even These mine. Pants, yeah, where's that even come from? That, was that the one that was just That was sit- the one that was just sitting here. Nobody claimed it. So I, I was like, it was. fuck I mean, it's it, it's mine. It's I got my pants from Hot Topics. Yeah, uh-huh. Because I'm so first. tall, my, my sister was on yeah. FaceTime. She goes, I would think you really like these pants. So I sent her money for them. And um, she got them for me. And I'm really tall. It's really I can't even shop at Walmart for pants. I have to go to Buckle and spend one hundred dollars on a buckle, dude. two pairs of pants are one hundred dollars. Are you good? What do you need? Yeah. What do you need? Anyway, so she gave them to me, and I was so afraid they weren't gonna fit, and they fit. Oh wow! I, I was oh. like, that's wild. That's never happened to me before. That's luck. Have you been? Do you walk a lot to your classes, or do you? You know what's crazy is people drive to class. I actually don't have a car. You drive to fucking class. I Why? walk. I you walk to the bio campus. building. I don't live on campus. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Little, I walk. I walk to the bio building four times a week. That's a half a mile. There. That's good. And back. That's, that's a whole. But mile. I have. I have hip problems. Walking yeah. hurts me sometimes. Sitting right now is hurting Wear me. Heels. That's gonna make it worse, honey. Is it? Mm-hmm. My hips are inflamed really bad to the point where the where what connects? I don't even remember what it was. Like the muscle and something else, the joint, and there's like a sac in between. I think. Like ligaments and stuff. Yeah. He had to give me a shot in one of them, and it only oh. helped the upper oh. right hip. The lower right hip and my left hip still hurts. I have to go back and get three more shots if I want to get those to go away. Uh, I don't do shots. Walmart don't work there. It yeah. messed me up. Yeah, it I messed know. me up. It, it's so do bad. Shots. Don't work there. People are so angry. And it's going downhill. The Walmart and Durant the is shots going downhill. The shot's a fireball. Hey. Okay, I'm hot. Sorry, Dakota's texting me. It's, you it's, said Dakota's hot? No, no. <laughs> Dakota is hot, though. No, he, he's, he's a little cutie pie, but... Uh, Pookie. So, so first Pookie. official kiss on the pot? Who? They already kissed. Fuck no, that was a cheap kiss. That, 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 that don't count. count. That, that, that don't count. That literally counts. I make the rules. <laughs> I gave, I gave him it's, some money. It's my podcast. <laughs> it didn't count. I don't think so. We'll okay, get to it eventually. 
Uh, someone will come on. Well, I need to have a couple come on here. Yeah. I literally told Ooh, you. Ooh, and ask some questions about each other. I You're told like, you. you I told you my boyfriend wanted to come on. We can literally be the couple. Yeah, you like. I need you to come on. You need to be like my co or host for the date thing. I literally told you my boyfriend wanted to be on here. Because you asked the hard questions. Oh, yeah. What would you ask him? I'll be like, what do y'all hate about each other? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I could answer that so that, quick. Like, I could answer that so quick. My boyfriend, he's diabetic. When I lay with him and I hit his pump or his scare, he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, what did I hit this time? That's the little thing that they have on? <sighs> yes, I'm like, what did I hit this time? You move it every three days. I can't keep up, Avery. You mean his feeding tube? <laughs> What? That's a peg tube, bro. He doesn't have that shit. What the fuck? It pisses me off. Okay. He moves it's location. Not my fault. <laughs> yeah. So he has you to move it every to. three days. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. You have to move it, I and he moves it every three days. Bro, he's getting heated, and he's not even here. I, I think you need another hey, doctor. He can't. He can't defend himself. So like, I love him. I tell him this. I'm like, I feel like I can't even cuddle with you because I, I'm always hitting something. I was cuddling with him last night. Happen every time I cuddle with him, I hit it. You were doing more than cuddle last night. You Bro, naughty I did. Dog. We did. Oh. <laughs> we did more oh, than cuddle. Oh, if you do the couples thing, have them like switch their phones. Oh, yeah. No. Like, be like, get on each other's phones. Listen, I ain't got yeah. shit to hide. He knows my passwords of everything. No, no, I, no, no. I mean, I'm not. Y'all obviously like have a very other. healthy. Happy I tell him everything. Shit. When I go no, take I'm a shit, I'm like, babe, I just went to the bathroom and it smells so bad. I took the fattest shit. I tell him everything. Mm. I tell him. I, mean, I tell him everything. It's so funny. I walk in and he'd be like, I heard you take a shit. Like, I know it was so loud, right? Has he ever at? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Uh. I was going to say, you know, earlier, like, my girlfriend was like, no, Can I see your asked. bubble? He's never been like, Can I look at your bubble? No, if he wanted to. You've never showed your girlfriend your bubble. Yo, what the? What were you, you know, to If say he wanted to, I literally bend it over. Ah! <laughs> ah! If, he wanted, if he wanted to look at it, he Whoa. could. Whoa, hold on. Really like up. bend it over and spread your cheeks up shit or like no what? not necessarily well i don't have a lot of like every time if you bend it over for anybody they're gonna have a chance of seeing your asshole and I we've mean, been together for a year I and a half we shower together and everything if he really wanted to he could that's honestly Listen, okay i yeah. get it whenever girlfriends like you probably experience this more than once whenever you want to like poke your man's oh. butt or something you know like that's normal Speaking of the boyfriend, because it like pisses y'all off she you know? that's that that's exactly yeah. what she was like she was like can i just see it i'm on the podcast and she'd always poke Bro. it going up the He's stairs here. Do you want him to come in? I, sure. I already here. see okay, enough asshole at work here. as is yeah, you see, you see. I don't need to see. You see. I don't need to see my man's. Keep that secret. You see. Any Keep that hidden. Penis. Okay, do you, dude? Right. I see you big penises, little that? penises. There is one time this man was like literally you know like, was like day after he retired was working on his roof. Who lives okay? in this building? Who has a key? You have to come with me. He fell. Literally, either of us. One of you guys have to come with me. He, you're gonna be on the podcast. I'll keep this podcast alive while one of y'all are gone. Okay. Yeah, Bye. see, it sounds dope as fuck. You get, you're about to have your first kiss on the podcast. Oh my god! Kiss cam. Kiss cam. Oh, my leg. My leg. So my she, leg. Is he outside here? Uh, he's in Stu Park right now. Alright, y'all be safe. What were you saying? Went for her to leave. Did she leave a fucking box cutter? Oh my god, yes. I think... She's trying to nerf y'all. I think she said that she carried... She was like, I carry around a knife for protection. I was like, okay. She pulls that out. I was like, a knife cutter? I'm going to set a this. And she literally... Right here, a knife cutter or a box cutter? cutter? Right here. Or a box cutter. I'm going to switch mics. I was like, damn, girl, you're packing. But, no, listen. So, like, literally day after he retired, working on the roof, you know, fixing it up or whatever. She is tall shit. Anyway. um, But... He had fell, and you know those, like, chain-link fences, how they have the, tr like, triangles at the top? Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, he fell from a two-story oh building. I think it was two. And he had caught his scrotum on the fence, crawled into, like, the front yard where people could see him better. Well, he's, like, yelling for help. And then went inside, got a fresh pair of clothes, and then the neighbors called the ambulance right they brought him to the hospital this guy was here for like two weeks and when i tell you that like everything was so swollen like from the dick to the balls to the taint was so swollen it looked like a giant ass football oh but like deformed God. and like bloody had stitches all in it but like i mean he made a really good recovery so he's good now he's a really sweet person too so yeah i've seen 
everything. Okay, what's the biggest penis you've seen? Like on the, the biggest penis yeah. I've seen, and then the probably smallest. the swollen one, but like naturally or yeah, just I like. <laughs> I don't know, bro. How these people are geriatrics? I'm not over here like, man. I mean, you got a big old. You know, thing no, on grandpas you. be hanging like that. You got a big old thing on you. I don't know. It'd probably have to be like, like that big. And the smallest is it any? Yeah, literally. I kid <sighs> you not. I kid you not. You'd have to like press your two fingers down like around like the hole to pop it out. Yeah. Has one of them ever like smiled while you're? They better not. They better not let me catch them. But, like, most of the time, like, the people that we do these to are, like, in really bad health and they really need help. So, but, like, I, I have had creeps ask me for, like, a bed bath or something whenever mm-hmm. they can get up and do it themselves. So, like, obviously there's always that, but you just have to know. You know, you just have to be like, okay, no, I know you're ambulatory. I'm not touching your balls. Like, what does that mean? You can do that. Uh, ambulatory is, like, they're able to move independently. Oh. Like, ambulate and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, my ex, she was a, uh, like, over nighttime, but she had a certain label, and I can forget what she was. She'd help take care of old people. PCT, CNA? CNA. That's yeah. what she was. And I think that's what I'm thinking of, but you're a nurse. No. Oh, you're not? I'm a PCT. So, like, uh, CNAs mostly work in, like, nursing homes or so. Like, I do have my CNA license. Like, I went to school for that, um, uh-huh. but I'm also a phlebotomist. You know what the is? No, 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 no. Yeah, so I would like go draw blood. Ah, no, 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 no. We don't need it. We don't need it. Anyway, so to like I, I do both jobs, so I switch back and forth a lot. <laughs> Calm down. I can't, bro. Get, no, get li- together. No, not with those things. I, remember I can't. I got- Needles? Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 yes, those things. <laughs> oh, I feel them going into my arm. Oh, ah. It's a phobia. Sound like a meth addict right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I, one time I got like uh, so like I, I, had, I had the flu really bad. My like my temples like went old yeah. or something. Oh they, wow! They put it here. They couldn't get it. So your AC? They popped, oh. they popped it here. They missed it here, and they finally got it in this hand. Yeah. Oh, I was in so much pain, especially after this one popped. Oh, so they blew your like vein yeah. and stuff. Yeah, oh, that can happen. For the like, time, like if, <laughs> if they put in the wrong gauge of needles. So like, ah, when your babies in the <laughs> so like the biggest. Sugar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. We're next we're time. gonna move away from. Yes. I can't. The yeah, inward. <laughs> um, oh, no. So yeah. she would say she would tell me stories about how they would. <laughs> all be fucking and like they couldn't stop it because wait the old people yeah it's a nursing oh home. yeah they yeah. all fuck dude the, oh, the, like real? the so whenever <laughs> yes. you look at it statistically the largest group of people to have stds or like stis or anything are going to be elderly people oh my yeah god. especially in florida oh my god in florida there's this thing where they have a community if you have different colored like loofahs on the top of your vehicle that means like so like red is like you're into bdsm and stuff like that like whipping and all that stuff and then like blue is like you like to watch or something i don't know the colors okay. i just know that they mean different things so like I would put like them a on the red like, and blue loofah yeah so <laughs> Oh, that's cute. What? What? What did you just? I wanted it. Oh, okay. Um, he wants something of yours. But yeah, he, he, wants, ground. he wants something, so he's got to come back later and be like, yeah. "Oh, I forgot like, oh, this." Oh, I forgot this. That you. always happens. That you know what's funny is that that's such a common thing. Really. And people still do it to this day. Mm-hmm. Like they just steal. If from you, you no, if you have someone like if you're say had a guy over or to have a girl over and they yeah. leave something it's like oh i gotta come back it's like the oldest Dude, trick i in the never book. do that i never do that well, i don't good. i don't really chase okay yeah i don't chase guys like i'm too busy for that yeah you know what you got going on what you too busy for tell run me through it listen boss woman let me hear it listen i just I get okay so I'll get like really bored fast Uh you know like if you're not providing anything to like me I guess or like to a potential relationship I'm not gonna entertain you Mm. you know like especially now with guys like and how they are um like none of them are like serious you know and like all this like I've only ever dated older guys and still most of them are immature and that's like I'm not mad about that like of course you're gonna take a while to mature but like especially like around here the guys around here are like bad like they're so bad 
And like, if you're not gonna take time for me, I'm not gonna take time for you. Mm -hmm. So that, and I'll just get like bored easily. Cause I'll be like, okay, you don't check this box off. Da, da, da. And I feel like maybe I can be too critical, but like also I can't find anyone here that knows how to communicate, mm -hmm. you know? And like, that's my biggest thing is like people knowing how to communicate and they just can't. What, what's part of it? What's the rest of those boxes? I wanna say I have like- I even more people for you. Yay. I want to say like being ambitious too. Uh -huh. Like if you're not ambitious or have any goals for yourself, nice. I'm not going to entertain nice. it. You know, like I need somebody to like be as driven as I am and like us support each other and each other's goals. Oh, yeah. So stuff like that. Yeah, you're a box yeah, you, knife. You left your like murder weapon here. <laughs> you're a box knife. Yeah. She's so paranoid. She Shut up. I do. I sleep with it under my pillow. Hey, Avery, Try me. it's nice to see you again. I was talking mad shit about your brother. Oh, yeah. What? Make sure the green's just part of the Yeah, there you go. Hello. Beautiful. Hello. Nice to meet you. I saw you on nice staff earlier. Nice. My name's Trent. Name's uh, we need to get you to write your name over there next to her 21. Oh. No, he's got to write it. We'll, we'll do it later. We'll do it. Right oh, yeah, you can sign over here. Sign your name. Sign your name, and then you can do hashtag 21. Because that's what episode this is. Uh, so. Just put your ass on my leg. Yeah, you, she's got it. Because y'all hopped in on. This episode, we're um, you're supposed to have your own episode, party crashes. But I think so. Sorry, we'll we can still do that. Like, well, we can like cut it, you know, and then like that way it'll be easier for you to like edit and keep track of it. So I don't know. It's oh, this one. Do. I guess. Oh no, this will be a whole. He's thing. got this. The, the conversation is too much. Like all yeah, we, we oh, are so, all so over I the place. I need to talk about my time in the psych ward. Oh, you have your own. My God. Oh, I have my own. Yeah. You can oh come. shit. There's okay. not a limit. Yeah, you can come back. Actually, you only get. No, it's not like that. You can come on whenever. I can come on however long I want to. Okay. With that box knife, you you make the rules. <laughs> with that box knife. <laughs> Pull it know. out. Pull that thing out right now. This was her protection, by the way. And I got what? extra blades, and I can turn them around and flip them if it breaks. Try me. Yeah, I know, but what? I sleep with it under my pillow. Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to do that if someone's running at you. You're gonna be like, hold on, sir. No, what? I was. What blade is dull, sir? Sir, 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 wait, no, kill no, me. No, no, wait, no, wait. no, 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 no. I know exactly where your arteries are. All I have to do is your ovaries. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Okay, oh. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I know where to cut to critically injure somebody. Okay, Try say me. that blade is dull. I want With to kill you. Force? I want to kill you. No. No, because like people have been killed. People can be killed with butter knives with enough force. True. You think a dull knife, a dull knife, or however you say the word, is gonna stop me? You're wrong. Okay, well watch this. So say you have to. I just changed change the blade. It's sharp. Okay, well. I can change cut it. your cup. While you change it, like take that one out. What time? Take that one out. That's in there right now. The one that's up. Take it out. You do it. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay, I don't have one of these. You I don't need a murderer. I had a uh, cheap uh, ass one. On. It's what? only ten dollars. No, I didn't. It's only ten dollars. I think I got mine five finger discount for my last job. At my work. Oh, Walmart, dude! I stole so many box cutters Tractor from Walmart supply. whenever I was capped too. Uh, what I mean is, is I that say fired. you don't have one in there and it's dull. I and, always have one in there. And I want to he kill you. He is making unrealistic expectations right now because I always have one of the blades in there. If they're not in there, and I'm right If they're here, not in and there, I if they're, you, are you saying that I'm um, never going to have... What? I have a box cutter. Why two, wouldn't I have a blade? Three. Dead. You'd be dead. No, because... You'd be like, sir, it, wait. Sir, wait. No, if you open... If you leave one of your arteries open, there's even one on your arm that I can cut and let you bleed out. Which one? That one? Just for the answer. We can both kill them. Well, she's the nerd. The, the PS... Uh... uh in, ca really in case if this is like a digital footprint, my job is to help save and care uh, for patients. Yeah, I wouldn't actually hurt better. somebody unless they tried to hurt me first. Stand your ground, ladies. Exactly. Don't let some man try and hurt you because you say no. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's not a man, that's a pussy. Period. <laughs> or a girl. <laughs> Did you forget the D on period? Yeah. Period. Per. Per. <laughs> um, so, I believe... Uh, <laughs> it's time for y'all to kiss it and we'll wrap this Don't up. Wait, 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 wait. Kiss cam. Connor. We're wrap. Oh, we got to get everybody's Instagrams and Snapchats. Why don't we just write down a piece of paper for you? You already got my Snapchat. It, you got to say that loud because I'll like pop it First up. Kiss. Catherine okay. Ray underscore 05. Okay, is my up. Snapchat. Oh, my Snapchat. Ray Ray. Ray Ray underscore Brooke. With an E. With an E. Instagrams. 
I don't even know my. I think it's I Ray know. underscore Brooke twelve fourteen. I don't I'm never on Instagram, so don't add me because I'll probably block you. Mm. Damn. Your Instagram? Uh, popcorn nine eight two nine. But the O's are zero. Ray underscore Brooke oh, yeah. twelve fourteen. Okay. I'll have to follow you all of mine because I tag. I post uh, stuff on the Instagram for the podcast. Okay. Connor C G Haas underscore twelve. Or do you know that A underscore yeah, new twelve underscore. underscore. Yeah. Do you want us to write them down? Even no, it was Magic Mike Live, and there, oh, there was just a hot, sexy man that was dancing on me. God bless she Cowboys. Did a lap we, dance. Had, we had different Friday nights, apparently. <laughs> my Friday night is I lay in bed and I play Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, is Animal Crossing what? good? Someone it's so back. much fun. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm never on my Instagram. Fushka to get off my island. If any of you know how to get an animal off your island, I haven't talked to Fushka in a month, and that bitch is still there. Yeah. And her.